I'm slightly see-through. But welcome to some more quarantine. We're going to be picking up where we left off. Um, I don't want to speak too long to this, but let's get over to the friends. Let me see. Buttons, because I muted over there. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. Hello, friends. All right, can I hear you guys? Okay, I hear things. Cool. All right, uh, let's do a quick recap of what happened last week. Um, okay, so you guys were fighting a big old automaton dude named Fergus, and you took him out right when we ended stream. Um, they, you heard mention of uh, Farmer Brooks Farm, I guess, um, and a marriage uh, between arranged marriage between Fergus and someone named Mirabel. And that's kind of where we left off. So um, let's see. Does anyone remember who did the, the killing blow? I think Zozo did. Yeah, she slashed him in the ankle. Yeah. Oh, that's right. You, you <laughs> did him a stab in the toe. That's right, because I uh, see the combat tracker shows the that you were the last to go. Okay, so. Well, that's fun. Um, uh, as you make another slash at his ankles, uh, you see Fergus kind of jolt and begins to, like, power down. And as he does, his, like, hand kind of outstretches and opens up. And there's a there's a small compartment in his, the palm of his hands, and uh, it uh, it opens up and it reveals a key. And here's where we can start. I mean, I'll, I'll reach for the key because I was reaching for it last time, and started the combat. <laughs> yep. Okay. That was all me. Okay. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, nothing happens, but you are able to successfully, you know, grab the key. Now you have this, uh, this key in your possession. Um, who was it that we saw that had a walk on them? Um, the, the automaton in the same area. She's behind the bar. Uh, it's, a uh, Mirabelle Brook. Does it look, does it look like this would open that walk on Mirabelle? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's a key. You could try. All right, I'm gonna go approach Mirabelle and ask her to put this key in her. Um, <laughs> you're gonna ask the robot to do that? I'm gonna ask if I can. I'm asking for consent. Oh, oh, I get. I, okay. Well, well, at least you're asking for consent. Yeah, at least you're asking. Um. <laughs> yeah, sure. Um, you 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 put the key in and uh. Opens up, and uh, inside is a, a little wooden heart um, inside the, the locket, and it has the word Moira uh, delicately filigreed onto the front. So it's the key to her heart, after all. Possibly. I will just give her the key. The automaton? <laughs> yeah. Uh, she doesn't so. respond. I mean, she, she's a robot. It's fine with me. <laughs> she has the key now. Okay. Keys uh, on the the bar. Does anyone else have anything to do here? Should we grab the heart? It says Moira on it, and we keep getting told to talk to Moira. I mean, I guess I'll push my stubby fingers in there and yank it out. You pull out the wooden heart? Yeah. Okay. Kali. <laughs> Kali ma! Nice. <laughs> okay, um, so you take out this uh, little wooden heart, and uh, uh, you don't need to add it to your inventory if you don't want, but it's you, it's in your guys' possession now, so. Does anything happen to Mir uh, Mirabelle? No. Okay. Well, at least she didn't attack us. I guess. This is good because I burned all but one spell. <laughs> well, that is true. You guys have not rested or anything, so. Which I have to go around and say, "Good job, everyone. That was well done." <laughs> yeah, you guys managed to take that out just fine. 
That was supposed to be a difficult fight. You guys just kicked its ass. It just took forever. <laughs> yeah. Can I go ahead and ask her of healing? Uh, for you guys? Yeah, uh, that's a 10 minute ritual or something like that, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, go ahead and uh, cast that. Make sure everyone gets healed up properly. So did that heal everyone properly? No. It doesn't look like it. But we can uh we can just do this. Alright, so Eva has three wound and Sulfur and Vasha have been healed up fully. Done. Okay. Uh, so Hopefully what... everyone feels a little better now. Oh I, I feel ecstatic. <laughs> Oh, I should get rid of these effects. You guys don't have these effects on you anymore. Because the combat is over. Okay. Um, so what do you guys do? You got this little heart in your possession. Are there any back rooms here? Or is it just like the one room? Uh, it seems like it's just this one room here. Okay. So nothing uh, left to explore in here? Not really. I mean, you you could try to go in the back and stuff, and it kind of looks like a like a normal bar, like there'd be a storage stuff. But there's there's nothing really exciting going on here. Well, I think we've done all we can do. We've kind uh, of destroyed uh, this place. Oh, that's right. Um, that the Veilstone map is still shared to you guys. Yep, I just pulled it open. I was going to say, do you guys want to go clockwise and investigate? So you're, you've, been to the, you've been to the store, and you've been to the inn so far. So there's, yeah, there's a house that if we continue to go that way. Mm -hmm. Sure. So you're going to you're gonna go to the, the house over to the left? Yes, the northwest. Okay. Um, you successfully, you know, leave the, uh, the inn, um, and you start approaching the, the house. Oh, no. Um. Crap. <clears throat> I pushed a button, and it freaked Discord out. Let's fix. Discord's been fixed. Okay, we're fine. It's fine. I know what I'm doing. I'm a professional streamer. Okay. Um, as you approach, uh, this house, it's, uh, one of the largest buildings in the town, um, and it's also one of the most badly burned, um, where things aren't scorched and gouged, the timbers of the elder's house are, uh, stained of forest green, uh, there's a large pass of roof visibly missing, uh, and there's a small bed of mixed wildflowers out front, um, uh, as you approach the opening, um, upon, or, if you, uh, you know, open the door, there's a polished wooden door uh the black iron hinges squeak lightly and uh something unexpected comes into view uh the, the home's furnishings appear to have been moved carefully off to the sides of the room uh small arrangements of potted flowers and plants uh, are lovely lovingly uh even artfully placed uh about the room uh, in the center of the room stands a serene looking uh matronly figure uh the burn um in the thatched roof of the house allows a, a thick beam of radiant light uh, to caress the shoulders of the figure, causing it to glow slightly. I don't know what you guys want to do beyond that. Is it a, like a live, forgive the question, the phrasing of it, but is it alive or is it another robot? Um, from what you can tell, it looks like another robot. Ah. Hello? Are you you walk in or are you just shouting from like the, the doorway? I'm shouting from the doorway. <laughs> okay. Um I'll, I'll say you, you, you kinda peer in a little bit further uh than just looking at the doorway. Um the, the matronly figure kinda has her hands folded serenely in her lap. Um her eyes are, are uh, painted shut and her high rosy cheekbones give her a permanent and uh, peaceful smile. 
Uh, she's wearing uh, kind of simple gray robes. Uh, her lower half uh, is obscured, obscured with flowers and vines. Um, there's a, a family of birds appear to have nested on her shoulder. Um, she does not jerk to life in a, the jarring manner that the uh, other uh, marionettes seem to have done. Uh, instead, she slowly raises her head to greet you and uh, calmly answer, uh, utters a... Uh, Welcome, children. Uh, anyone want to ask who she is? <laughs> um, okay, after a, a slight pause of obvious uh, awkward silence, uh, you hear, I'm sure you have many questions. What can old Miss Jennings do for you? Where's Moira? Moira is such a sweet girl, but always so lonely. And busy. Busy, busy. Where is she? If she wants friends, then. Oh, I'm sure she's around somewhere. Can we help you with anything? Sorry, I gotta think of things. Oh no! I'm just happy to be here and help you travelers along your way. Are there tracks on the floor? Like, can she? Is it conceivable that she could move? No. At least is nothing the like the the, the the inn where you saw obvious tracks. Mm. It looks like uh, she's she's been. Uh, She's been placed here intentionally, and the, the 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 foliage and the vines have been growing around her. She's obviously just built to stay in place. What happens? Taking care of the plants, then. <laughs> what were you saying, Vasha? What happens to your house? She kind of. Slowly turns her head. Uh, also, it's not jarring movement. It's very smooth. Uh, kind of looks over at you and says, I have no idea what you're talking about, my dear. Perhaps it's time someone taught you about the veil stone and the wishes. Yes, we would love to know about that. Okay. So you, you're, uh, you're wanting to know about the veil stone? <clears throat> Absolutely. Oh, I should have prepared music or something for this. Hold on, let's see if I can get something that could be really nice and pretty sounding. Random. Oh, sure. This will work. Can you guys hear that? It's very quiet. Hopefully, you guys can hear it. You can? No. Really? How come when I go, like start streaming, all of a sudden you guys can't hear the music and stuff that I play? But other times you can hear it just fine. Like before stream, you guys heard the music. Very upsetting. Did something change on me? Hold on. Because we need the, the mood. Mood is important. I think. Yeah, I, I don't know why. It's like, you guys heard all the music before stream and now you can't. I don't know. I'm kind of at a loss. Kind of upset. Um, anyway, I guess uh, we'll move ahead. Um, the, the, the figure kind of closes her eyes and raises her head up uh, as she recites um, kind of like a, a poem about this uh, stone. Before the world held flesh and bone, it was fire, water, sky, and stone. Then magic came unto the land, and it was with a woman, child, and man. The fires, they grew cold and died. The water changed with every tide. The sky would shift from night to day, but magic and stone would always stay. And thus the veil stone was given birth from Mother Magic and Father Earth, 
the strength of stone and magic's creed, but grant a wish devoid of greed. That's her. Okay, there we go. That's her little poem. I think the stone has more to do with all of this than we might be expecting. None of this seems right. If it's something supernatural causing it, that actually makes sense somehow. I agree. It sounds like it could be used for good, though. Potentially. Maybe a case of careful how you phrase it, I'm not sure, but this... None of this seems like it went right. To put it easily. Well, I think our first step is to find Mara. Because everything seems to be around here connected to her, and she might have more information. And I think she might be that person I saw before who doesn't know how to use a saw. <laughs> I still need to teach her how to use this. <laughs> You're convinced that she doesn't know how to use that saw. <laughs> yes, we have something of hers, so best we return it then. Uh, is there anything that seems to stick out at all? Like, can I do a perception check to see if I see anything out of the ordinary? Yeah, sure. Would it be investigation or perception to try to see if the fire that was here was natural or whether it was set? You mean like it was uh, intentional or it just yeah, kind of happened? Yeah. yeah, Um, you can do investigation if you want. Um, Josh, okay. you don't notice anything in particular. Um, what you do notice is uh, oh. this marionette seems to be uh, delicately be being taken care of and a natural 20. Okay. Uh, I also don't know why it says minus two on perception when I should have plus three. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's look at you. My, my, even my card says plus three. Yeah, your perception is 13? Passively, yeah. Okay. And your skill... Did you roll the right one? Yeah, perception, it says. Minus five. How, how did you get a minus five and I rolled it for you and you got a it shows plus three? Yeah, it should be plus three, but I don't know why it showed minus. Yeah, that's weird. I don't. I, I pulled that directly out of your die pool. Well, okay. Well, okay, well, it's working somehow now. No, no. <laughs> that, that was weird. Uh, yeah, keep an eye on that. See if there's something weird happen. Um, Technology. Yeah, right. Super helpful. Um, okay, Moira, so, um, you, you kind of start looking around all the scorch marks and stuff, and you're, you can tell that it was, a it was an intentionally started fire. Okay. Um, I'll, I'll say you kind of, because this is the most messed up house, or building, um, you're kind of looking on the outside and stuff too, and, um, you're able to discern that, um, all, all, all the fires across, you know, all the damage and stuff, um, they seem to have been done. Uh, intentionally um looks like possibly a raid or something happened um there's slash marks from uh you know bladed weapons axes and, and the like uh as well uh but this was definitely done intentionally oh i have a really bad feeling and a really really sad theory and this is not oh this is not a good one. Oh no Um, so do you, you come back to the the group and yeah. relay the information that you found? Yeah. Okay. Uh, how do you guys uh, proceed? Um, I'll just ask the Miss Jennings uh, where is this 
Fellstone. Why, my dear? Right in the center of town. Okay, thank you. You have been very helpful. Always a pleasure, dearie. I'm gonna start walking out at that point. I will follow behind. Okay. You do the same, but keep an eye out for, uh... Miss can't use an axe. Needs to be taught how. <laughs> 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 Alright. Um... So you guys are just outside of the, uh... Why do you guys have dots? Oh, because you've taken damage. Okay, interesting. Or something. I don't know. Josh has a green or yellow dot. Um, so you're outside of the Elder Jennings house. Uh, where are you going from there? Should we look for Moira first? Or should we look for the Veilstone? Is there, like, a monument in the center of town or anything? Um... Uh, if you, with the image, uh, you can see there's that big circle of cobblestone. Um, it, you, I mean, that's the center of town. But How like, high is the cobblestone? Um, it's it's only you know it's slightly raised. It's it's the center of town. You know, carts and stuff are gonna pass by it all the time. They didn't want to make it uh, obnoxious to get around it. Is there, if, if we go into, like, the center proper, is there, like, a stone? Can we see it? If you go there? Uh, yeah. So, so you walk towards the center of town? Yeah. Um, yeah. You're able to see, uh, there's a, as you walk towards the center of the town, you feel, uh, that pull, uh, to get stronger and stronger. And, uh, there, there is a large hole in the ground. Um, in the, in the shape of, like, what is that, a pentagon? That's not a pen. Is that a pentagon? I don't know. Whatever. That sim symbol that's in the middle of the map. <laughs> uh, it, it's a thing dug out. Uh, but you feel like there was uh, some radiance of power that was here. Was here, so it feels gone from us now? Yeah, there, obviously there there was a stone or something that was sat, uh, sat there before, but it seems to be missing. How big, from, like, the way that it's dug out, does it seem to be? Like, would it be really cumbersome for a person to, like, carry it by themselves? Or yes. is it easy to carry? It, it looks like it's uh, quite large. I mean, oh, okay. um, the stone itself is, you know, not that big, um, but it would be quite heavy. Hmm. Like, I don't know. So it's it's probably about, like, top, three feet across, you know, 250 pounds of rock. I don't think someone moved this without help. It would be related to that supernatural cause we keep hearing about. But I guess this decides our next move for us. We're going down. Where are you going? It's a hole, right? Like. No, no, it's it's like something was set in there it's probably like you know a couple feet oh, deep okay, okay. It, it was whatever was there okay. was pulled out um can i look around for any sort of tracks anywhere uh sure you can rule a mm, investigation uh perception um Obviously, since this was being, uh, like, the center of a town, there's many confusing tracks and stuff um, just moving throughout uh, the town. There's no discernible uh, tracks on as to a direction where uh, these tracks could have uh, led with the stone. All right. Um, does anyone else feel sort of a pull anywhere that might help us on our way? Are you asking me, or, or I guess you guys I'm wouldn't know, huh? No, I'm asking the, the, the party. <laughs> I don't. I think maybe we need to find Moira. There was quite obviously something here, but whatever it is, 
whether or not we'll go to find it, it remains to be seen, but I think first, you're right, we need to, we need to find whoever this is. Okay. Um, so where are you guys gonna head off to? The time of day is it? Because we traveled here, fought and everything. Yeah, it's, it's probably like 2 p.m. Okay. No, mid-noon. Shall we go to the next house then on our clockwork journey? Sounds like a good idea. Yeah. Uh, you you want to go to the, the north most house, I guess? Yes. Okay. North and very slightly east. Right. Okay. I keep pushing the wrong button. That keeps messing up Discord. Um, okay. So you head up to the the house um th th this is the the house it's uh the furthest entrance from the town um it is uh longer than most other buildings in the town uh the dark wood shake off uh shake roof supports uh impressive scorch marks that appear to have been hastily repaired uh there's some sturdy looking cobblestone pillars uh they shore up the corners of the home uh it's the only place in Valesome that seems to be lived in uh, the holes in the roof and walls uh, have been patched up. The floor is dusted. Um, there also seems to be uh, some some embers in the the fireplace. At least you can see some lingering of smoke coming out the uh, the fireplace. What is that? Soot stack. Um, but that's that's what you can see from uh, outside of the house, anyway. I'm going to say this is probably where Moira is living, if it's clean. That may be true. Should we go inside and see? Yeah, I, I want to just knock at the door. Maybe if she's here, you know, she might respond. Um, it's not like I'm trying to ambush her. Right. Okay. Um, like many of the other doors in town, um, as you knock the door, it just kind of opens up, but, uh, there's no, there's no creak or anything. It just kind of gently slides open. Um, there's a, off in the, in towards the house, uh, there's a cozy seating area, uh, kind of greets you, um, you kind of peer around the corners. Um, there are toys and gadgets and gizmos and, and tools hanging on every wall. Uh, of the warmly lit living space. Um, there's two large cushy chairs uh, face the fireplace. Um, there's rows and rows of books uh, that line the walls. Um, there's two doors leading in uh, out of a large kitchen and the seating room. Um, one is short and wide and one is tall and thin. I'm just gonna start walking in slowly, very calmly. Okay. Namora, are you here? No response. Don't think anyone's home. But we think this is her home, right? Because we, we can wait for her. Well... I suppose this is the only one that's using the fireplace, and I don't see why those other things would need heat, so... It makes sense. I, so far, she seems to be the only actually living thing in this town. Do we want to continue exploring, or do we want to wait for her here? I mean, if she's living here, she's got to come back at some point. Because there's still another building to visit. I don't see why we couldn't go to the other building in the meantime. Yeah, we can always come back. Yeah. I'm gonna turn to Zozo and be like, 
You've been quiet, and then realized what I said, and just... <laughs> oh. Head down. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> uh, so, does uh, Zozo any make any facial expressions along with that at all, or anything? Uh, I think she... I think she... she smiles. Okay. Uh, so what are, um, what are you guys off doing? I think we're gonna go to the next house then, yeah? Okay. Sure. Okay, uh, so you head to uh, a more farm-looking one. Um, you approach a ramshackle farmhouse that, uh, while it's clearly seen better days, it probably wasn't ever much to look at. Uh, there's a simple wooden uh, building backs up to an overgrown cornfield. Uh, there's patches of thistles out front. Um, it looks to be intentional that there's thistles there. Um, th oh yeah, oh yeah, so that, that's the entrance, I'm assuming you're walking straight up to the door again. Just kind of knocking. Sorry, I'm not yeah. trying to <laughs> lead in, my brain just keeps going. Um, the interior is dusty, uh, just like all the other buildings in town. Uh, it's clearly sat like this, uh, for quite some time. Uh, probably undisturbed for at least a year or more. Um, there's a modest handmade wooden furniture, uh, large fur rug. Welcome, welcome you guys. Um, sunlight, sunlight kind of creeps in from several, several cracks in the wood. I'll step on in. Okay. And see if there's any, some sort of creature hiding behind anywhere. Okay, uh, you step in, um, there's a, obviously a, it's like more of a hallway as you're entering in, so you gotta kind of walk in like 10 feet or so, uh, before you see anything, uh, interesting, but, uh, as you walk in, there's a, there's a haggard looking male figure, w uh, with a stupid look on its face, um, it jerks to life, and it's kind of jaw kind of, <laughs> yeah, it kind of sits sideways, um, its eyes are articulated, they're articulated to look unfocused and dim, um, they goggle around randomly around the small room. Uh, a small hat crowns the head full of a wild, tangly gray hair. Uh, yeah, when, he, when his mouth opens, uh, it's the marionette is clearly missing teeth. Did but it, it look like it was designed that way, or...? Yes. Okay. It hasn't responded to... This is what you just see, by the way. It hasn't, like, responded to your... I'm gonna walk up to it and wave my hand, like... Hello? Okay, um... As you speak, kind of jolts to life, and its jaw kind of uh, shakes in place, and... Get out of my farm and leave my daughter alone! Oh. <laughs> I only want big, stupid, mustache jerks to marry my daughter. So I'm guessing this is Mirabelle's dad, then. I drink too much and can't read very well. My daughter I sure is smart and nice. Their lives. She smells like lilacs and old books. Uh, it's almost like a caricature of a person it's just ugh, it's uncanny it's unsettling i'll chase you off just like i chased off my wife <laughs> kind of just jerking back and forth well i don't think we're gonna get much information from this mm, guy no i agree You stay away from my daughter. Perception check time to see if there's anything around of importance. Sure, go for it. And that's that one. Work correctly, please. Thank you. Uh, you don't see anything of significance. Or notice anything of significance, I should say. I 
don't know if there's much here besides him. All right. Um, we've looked around everywhere. So we have felt that we've looked around everywhere, correct? Yes. Thanks, Peanut. So, uh, so yeah, you've done every house except. Well, I mean, you have to the other house, but. So it seems we have a decision to make over whether or not we go back and wait for our friend. <laughs> I suppose. We might as well go back. If nothing else, maybe we can rest there. Yeah, this is true. So uh, you go back to that other house? The one that yeah, looks lived in? Too. Yep. Okay. Uh, you head back into the house. Um, obviously, nothing has changed since it's been, you know, 20 minutes or so. Can I look around the house? Um. Okay, so there you you're still in that the main room that's um mm -hmm. obviously in the house. Um, the only thing that is left for you to see is to walk into either of those two doors. Uh, so short, short and wide one, or sides. tall and thin. Okay. Probably tall and thin. That way, I don't have to duck down. <laughs> Although I'm pretty short. <laughs> um, you just walk into, uh, or try to walk into that the tall, thin yeah. door. Yeah. Uh, the door's locked. <laughs> Can't get in. Sozo, can you try the other door? She runs up to the, the tiny door and tries to open it. Uh, it opens up just fine. Um, you kind of, the door opens up and you're able to peer in. Um, it seems to like be, seems like it's mostly a workshop. Uh, there's a small dusty cut pot laying in the corner. Um, there's a stout dwarven figure uh, sits at a tool bench, uh, smiling down at a small, half-constructed marionette. Uh, he's got thinning uh, black hair. Uh, it's pulled into a braid and uh, streaked with gray and white strands of hair. Um, there's some impressive-looking spectacles uh, rest above his brow, uh, very similar to uh, the, the girls that you saw earlier. Uh, he wears a patched long coat and a heavy apron. Uh, looks just like the other girls that you saw. Uh, on the table next to him are three wooden hearts. Uh, one reads Veilstone, one reads Jennings, and uh, one reads Science. Uh, he hasn't spotted Zozo. Uh, you haven't made any sort of uh, indication that, you know, you're there yet. So he okay, wouldn't. So she peeks back out looks at the rest of the party and plays. <laughs> sort of gesturing towards the, the little door. Mm -hmm. How do you guys respond? If we got on our hands and knees, or if I did at least, would I be able to go in? Yeah, you you all can fit in. You, you know, you have obviously have to duck down to like dwarf height, but you you can get in there. I'll, I'll, I'll crawl, crawl in, like we're <laughs> all right. huddle in. There's enough, there's enough room for all, you all to fit in there, but yeah, you're all gonna have to be like sitting on the ground or something. Zozo just kind of sitting there's like, yeah, I'm comfortable. I can tall people, take that. I will crawl in as well. Okay. So you all surprise this dude. Uh, you all walk in and the what you can like walk into the the door it, it's short but there's still a ceiling 
in there, so you can kind of like duck, but then you can stand back up. Okay. Great. I'm um, so this uh, dwarven figure is kind of just sitting there. Yeah, I'll do that. <clears throat> like, get attention. Uh, do you kinda, work here? He kind of <laughs> wakes up, it seems, and, uh, how are you? I'm Professor Belgrim Silverbelly. Before we get started, I have a question for you. Whose name is written on my heart? Uh, a, a hatch pops, or pops open on the figure's chest, and within is a, a roughly heart-shaped receptacle. Um, and that's that's where it, where it sits right now. Is there a heart in... Uh, like, can we read if there's anything on the heart? Or is it just the shape of, like... It's a shape, like, obviously, like, it's a heart is supposed to be placed there. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll tell him that, uh... Uh, unfortunately, you have no heart right now, sir. Oh. <laughs> uh, he, he responds again, uh... Whose name is written on my heart? Is it... Is it... Do you think it's one of the hearts on the table? Uh... What were the names again? The Of the hearts? Yes. Uh, one reads Balestone, uh, one reads Jennings, and one reads Science. Do these look like the one that we have, or is the one that we have smaller than this one? They look, it looks similar to the one that you guys have. You think he's the one that made this? It could be. And someone made him to make these. That makes sense. What do you think this guy would love? Science. I don't know, he could have a thing for Miss Jennings across the way. <laughs> <laughs> he could always build her a new house. That's true. So let's say, I'll, I'd vote Jennings. Professor of what? Don't know. But like, if he if I ask him that, will he answer? Uh, I mean, we'll say you asked, and uh, he yeah, he said, "Oh, uh, let's see, how would he respond to that?" Um, I'm a. I've given him the wrong accent. Uh. Respect the dwarf engineer in the, in the older kingdom. Oh. He's an engineer, so I would say science again. Okay, we can try it. Uh, so you, you pick up the science heart and try to put it into his chest? Get in there. I For some reason, I cannot think of a Scottish accent right now. And it's the worst. I'm giving him a southern accent. Okay, so you, you kind of... Place the, the science heart into his chest cavity. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Reverse Kotli Ma. Uh, he kind of... It kind of sets in there and makes a couple clicking noises and he says... All right. Someone give me a Scottish accent because I cannot think of it. Stop in the morning to you, laddies! There we go. There. <laughs> Just think of Jack. Um, a fine choice indeed. I fucking went southern again. Imagine that it's goddamn Scottish. I, for some reason, I cannot do a Scottish accent. It's really annoying. He's southern Scottish. Don't worry it's about it. It's freaking awful, dude. This is so annoying. <laughs> um, dude, like seriously, my brain is what my brain has and what my mouth does is completely different. Do not take that out of context, Joshua. <laughs> I knew you. <laughs> I saw his face. <laughs> um, a fine choice indeed, but no, 
There's but one name on me heart. And it's named this one. The heart kind of and pops it back out. Lands back on the desk. Okay, well, that was not the right one. I'm going to say, you know what? I'm going to try the Moira heart that I have. Uh, okay. From your inventory. Yep. Um, as you, you slide that one in and the... Seems like a little sparkle happens in his eyes and, uh, responds. Moira loves me, so... But she never took the opportunity to tell me how much. She was always so busy. Busy, busy. It stays in place. Mm -hmm. Missed opportunity then. But this one seemed to work unlike the last one. I'm gonna, uh, where would we find Moira? Maybe we can talk to her for you. Moira would be around. She was always off doing various things around town. Always keeping busy, busy. Do you know where she lives in town? Uh, why, of course. She lives here with me. She is, she is my adopted daughter, of course. Oh, crap. I thought I had mer alerts muted. I'm sorry. Gimmick, thank you so much for the raid. And thank you for everyone for popping in, but we're in the middle of a thing. I'm so sorry. I hope you guys stick around and have fun. Uh, during a break, we can say hi to all you lovely folks. Thank you so much. Um... Okay, so yeah, so he responds, uh, She is my adopted daughter, after all. How you doing? Alright, um... Oh, you're fine, gimmick. We appreciate the raid. <laughs> well, then it's just a matter of waiting around for her here until she comes back. Yep. Good sir, do you mind if we... ...stay in your abode? He responds, uh, but of course, it may be a while. Do you have time for a story? And I keep changing his accent, so, you know, roll with it. I'm waiting for him to become German at some point. Yeah, and then just start screaming. <laughs> I'm spy dry! Oh, no. Uh, so, I have time for a story. Does everyone else? We have nothing else to do. I think it might offer us more insight than we expect. Isozo sits comfortably. Oh, that's adorable. Just kind of finds a little stool. <laughs> Ready for a story. All right. Let uh, us stretch. Okay. We're switching different scene. Uh, this might... This is going to be some expedition, exposition here, friends. All right. Have a seat. Have a seat. I need to tell you a story. He, like, he uh, kind of looks like he, he gets up out of his seat, um, but, you know, his little dwarf legs are about the size that he was sitting, so, like, he only gains, like, an inch. And he kind of, behind his little, his desk, he kind of walks, paces back and forth only a couple feet, but uh, he's obviously on tracks, and he just kind of walks back and forth as he's going to be telling this story. I once was a respected dwarven engineer in uh, the Aura Kingdom, but I grew tired of forging weapons of war. I wanted to spread joy. I began applying my tinkering and engineering skills to somewhat something that brought joy to others. I started making the finest of toys. Lifeline puppets! Clockwork wonders! I enjoyed a life, peace, and fulfillment for years tinkering and crafting in this small town. Occasionally making trips to larger cities to entertain children and sell my tinker trinkets and toys. One year, a drought caused a sudden shortage of paint berries. 
I used the making of some of my pigments and inks in the area. I began searching the countryside much, much, much further than I normally needed to. While searching a paddock of trees far to the northwest, I heard something unexpected behind a large rock. Upon inspection, I discovered a wee, mewling baby girl, an elf. I returned to Veilstone and took the girl into me home, naming her Moira after me mother. Moira Silverbelly. Moira loved me, and I loved her. I called her me Little Moppet, and made her every wondrous toy imaginable. I raised her here in town, taught her when I could see I could of science and engineering. I encouraged Moira to pursue her passions, damn the consequences. This made her incredibly self-sufficient, but not overly popular with the other children in the village. She took to tinkering like a duck to water. I knew that one day her skills would surpass me own. She grew tall and thin, like her people do. But her deer acted, but the poor deer acted much more dwarf than elf. When she was but a young lass, Moira took a special interest in the Brooks family daughter, Mirabelle. It became apparent that this was more than just a budding friendship, and I once again encouraged Moira to follow her heart. Mirabelle was a fine young thing, a bit older than Moira. Worked over at the Harpshing Inn pouring ales. My sweet Moira spent the better part of the summer crafting a wondrous, intricate music box for Moira Mirabelle as a gift. Ah, I was so proud. Initially, Receptive to Moira's intentions, Mirabelle and Moira had just formed a relationship when old Farmer Brooks stormed into me front door and demanded I put an end to this perverse nonsense and informed me that Mirabelle was promised to Fergus Dinkerwallop, the great oaf. Farmer Brooks then threw Moira's music box on the ground, shattering it. Real shame, that. Well, Fergus's family was fina financially well off, and he had a bright future. Fergus was a mountain of a man, even in his teens, and grew larger, even louder, and more stupid as the years passed. Still, I stood up for me Moira, and told Brooke that Moira's mind was not his to make. I supported her up until the point that Mirabelle, under no small amount of duress, told me sweet Moira that she had chosen Fergus Dink or Dirkwallop. He kind of comes back to his seat and sits down. Looks like uh, he's contemplating. Sorry, I have, I'll have to take a breath. Uh, you guys can talk amongst yourselves <laughs> about what's going on for a minute if you want. Or if you have any questions for clarification. I know that was a lot. This is all starting to make more sense. Yes, and I have a... Theory, wonder, I don't know. An idea. I'd be surprised if we all weren't budding one by now. But theories aside, whatever happened here, maybe we can find out from him. He seems to remember. He seems more lucid than the other ones, except for maybe... Maybe the Elder, but... I'm not sure. Whatever he's saying, it's, it, it tracks from what the others have said. Yeah, but you have to remember as well that, uh... He is now a robot, so... And he said Moira was... Also gifted, so... Moira made him. Well, we don't... We don't know that. I, no. She may have had a hand in it directly or indirectly, but I don't know. He just, he seems different from the others. Uh, just aside from the Elder, all the others just seem like caricatures. They repeat the same things. They seem like very over-exaggerated versions of themselves. I, If people could really be like that, it just doesn't make sense. Where did the music box get broken? Uh, When the guy came in and smashed it? Yes. Uh, it was in, uh, the house. Okay. 
Do I have the sense his story is done? No. Okay. I, I was giving you guys a chance because that was a lot of listening <laughs> to make sure to clarify and all that stuff. Uh, he kind of he adjusts himself on the seat. And uh, so, so essentially all that that just happened was like in your guys' head. So really no time has passed from him telling the stories just for time passage sake. Um, but uh, he kind of adjusts himself on his chair and uh, Moira was devastated. She marched straight to the tavern and challenged Fergus to a fight. He laughed in her face and dumped a tankard of ale over her head. Moyer fired off a great many blows into the torso of the mountainous Fergus, but he laughed still harder and dismissively shoved her to the floor with one hand. Moyer ran from the tavern and wept upon the veil stone, begging for it to force Mirabelle to love her again. But this was not a selfish wish, and her cries rang into the night unanswered. Moira found herself feeling very lonely, and even my love for me daughter could name end the hole torn in her heart. She grew distant from all but me, joining me in my experiments, and while I was grateful for the time spent with me beloved daughter, I could not help but feel concerned for her growing estrangement from the townsfolk. The next summer, a visitor came to Veilstone. A tall, ruggedly handsome half-orc noticed Moira adjusting some gears on one of the town's windmills. Hello there, I'm Shadrach, he said. She was amazed that a visitor would approach her before anyone else. Hi, Moira. It's nice to meet me. She joked. Shadrach didn't seem to be put off by her coarse mannerisms. In fact, he seemed to much enjoy them. Shadrach, finding Veilstone pleasant enough, rented a room at the Harfstring Inn for a while. He told Moira that he was an adventurer seeking his fortune and regaled her with tales of fighting great beasts and monsters and villains. Moira had no great tales. She had never really left the valley in which she lived. One day, after listening to a story of Shadrach's many adventures, Moira shared the only story she had. The story of a Veilstone. She took him to the Veilstone's place of rest in the town square. Shadrach seemed particularly interested in the stone and studied it well into the night. Eventually, Moira bid Shadrach farewell for the evening. She told me all about her new friend, and his adventures, and his muscles, and his interest in the Veilstone. I didn't like the sounds of this orc, and bust out the front towards the plaza as fast as me old dwarven legs could carry me. I intended to inquire about Shadrach's interest in the stone. But by the time I arrived in the plaza, Shadrach was nowhere to be found. I ran to the Harpstring Inn, but just missed him. I ran to the front gate of town, but no trace of the half-orc could be found anywhere. With brow furrowed, I returned home. I scolded Moira for the first time in her life. Really gave her what for? The Veilstone is a secret for a reason, I bellowed. She stormed off to her room, and we both went to sleep with tears in our eyes. He kind of droops his head low again. I'm giving you guys another chance to, <laughs> to outthink some stuff. Sorry. There's a lot of words. Uh, I think you're muted, Josh. Mm, I don't think so. Oh, there you go. I thought you were talking. Sorry. No, I was... contemplating. I mean, we could... I could always skip into more stuff if uh, you guys don't have anything to say just let me know or if you just continue or whatever I'm good for the continue that's me though I'm good to hear more okay <laughs> I like the thumbs up sloth alright uh he continues Moira slept late and barely touched the apology breakfast I made her she went to the plaza to search for her friend. But it was that the professor had said, er, but as I said, uh, Shadrach is gone. She sat on the veilstone and cried well into the afternoon. As the sun began to set, Moira, looking through the town's gate, uh, saw a figure on the horizon, then another. 
and another, and another. A large group was headed towards town. Myra craned her neck up and squinted her keen elven eyes to get a better look. The handsome figure of Shadrach became more visible as he approached. Her heart soared as she ran out the front gate. As Shadrach became more visible, or as Shadrach drew nearer, so did the other figures behind him. Some larger and some smaller. A dozen individuals approached a small, peaceful town of Veilstone. Shadrach smiled and opened his arms wide for embrace as he reached Moira. Nearly blinded with tears, Moira dashed for her new friend. She just knew he hadn't left her. Just as Moira stretched out her arms towards Shadrach, he quickly pivoted and drew a vicious-looking scimitar in a violent arc, leaving a deep gash down Moira's face, shoulder, and chest. The pain was unbearable. She, uh, she lost consciousness and fell to her side. Um, as you guys are uh, over here in this bit, um, the door to the room over opens up, and uh, the uh, elven figure that you saw earlier uh, enters the room, and uh, and she's crying, and the uh, the the Marion of the professor kind of goes slack. Uh, as she enters, she says, Hold on, I forgot. She says, It was dark. I could smell smoke. I heard screams. Something heavy and sweet stuck to my lips as I gasped and woke. The familiar, smiling face of my father greeted me as my eyes focused. I love you, Moira Moppet, he wheezed as he continued holding the healing tincture to my lips. He looked badly hurt. But I hadn't the strength to question my father. My wounds burned intensely as the potion took its course and once again, I lost consciousness. I woke to the hot sun be beating on my face. I sat up and rubbed my eyes. And next to me lay the body of Professor Belgram Silverbelly, my daddy. His last act to deliver the curative to me, his daughter. I was stunned at the sight. I trembled wordlessly for hours, or minutes, maybe seconds. I couldn't really tell. Eventually, the screams and cries echoed across the field. I gently stroked the gray and white beard of my adopted father and rose to my feet. My heart, already broken, was soon joined by my mind as I searched from building to building, finding every single townsperson slaughtered. But I had one last ray of hope. The Veilstone! A wish! I could wish the town back! I limped through the plaza, the home of the Veilstone. But as I arrived, I saw nothing but a five-sided hole in the ground where the Veilstone once lay. I fell to my knees and cried and cried some more. My cries turned to screams, and my screams eventually turned to sort of broken chuckle. <laughs> Time to get busy, I said to myself. Busy, busy. She uh, walks over to the the marionette figure and brushes the hair on him, and uh, looks over at you guys with tear stained eyes. And says, "So, now that you know, you know what I did, what I did to my family, my friends." My town, I ruined it. I ruined everything. But I think, but I think, I think I can fix it if I get busy. I, I need to get it back. The Veilstone. I need to put it back in its home. Th then I can make a wish. Wish them all back. Make it right. Will you help me? I mean, I'm all for one for helping. Um... But I offered you help earlier, and you didn't want me to teach you how to use an axe, and... Oh, my God. <laughs> you actually say that to her? <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I'll walk over and, like, offer her hand, like, of course we'll help you. Uh, you're, you're a bit taller than her. I mean, she, she's she's taller. She's an elf, Wait, obviously. I'm my hand down. Just... Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, she kind of looks at you with tears streaking down her face and says, I, I know where they are. I know where the ones that did this. After I healed up, I, I had some time on my hands to have some look about. The evil buggers are about a half day's journey west. They're, they're holed up in the side of a hill. There's a bunch of them. But, but, but you're strong. You took out that old Fergus like a champ. Oh, by the way, uh, sorry uh, about all that. I, I needed... She kind of looks down and gets nervous and says, like, uh, I, needed, I needed to make sure, to, to make sure that you could help, that, that you wouldn't hurt. And she kind of trails off. You wouldn't hurt what? She kind of looks up and just tears are streaming down. I think she means herself. Oh. Uh, I, I look to her and say, of course, I, I would never hurt someone who only has good intentions in their heart. That... It is not a... <laughs> I'm not good with words. Okay. So, <laughs> you say all that? Yep. Okay. Um, she, she just kind of blinks some tears out of her eyes and just smiles. Um, both relieved and uh, appreciative to, uh, to your words, but uh, she seems like she's on that, that verge of... You just complete and utter break. And she's just trying to hold it all together. Breaker. So what do you guys do? Uh, I'll ask if she doesn't mind if we spend the night here, and then she can guide us to where it is, and if my companions here find us, we... I'm pretty sure we would all love to help her out. She kind of bounces uh, a little, like, bounces to life with uh, joy and excitement. Um, uh, yes, yes, there's some rooms right over here. And uh, she, she's going to obviously lead you guys to the, the inn for a place to uh, where you can, you know, rest up if you need. Now, did you say there were some holes in her walls and whatnot in here, or was it totally immaculate? The the house or the inn? Yes, the where well, her house. Her house. Um, it's it's been it's all patched up, hastily patched up. Um, the only uh, light that are coming through are like some small cracks and stuff in the wall. Okay. I would have offered to start mending the. Mm -hmm. Well, but that's fine. So, uh, she led you guys to the, the inn. It's probably, you know, 4 p.m., 5 p.m. in the afternoon. You guys did just have a fight. Well, a couple hours ago, I guess. I was gonna say, uh, shall we have him make dinner or something and then bunker down, get going at first dawn? I said it was half half a day's journey. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, that would be smart since we're not sure what we will encounter there. So you guys rest up. Yeah, yeah, I think so. All right, let's rest. Long rest. There you go. Long rested. Um, let's see. Um, Moira. You know, provides some dinner for you guys. Um, obviously not the best. She's, uh, all her focus and stuff has been, you know, just keeping herself alive and, you know, engineering stuff. Um, make some small talk with you guys throughout the night or throughout the evening as it passes through. But, uh, she seems to try to keep to herself. Um, she feels awkward being in, in company, obviously, but, 
Um, she's happy to make accommodations as you guys need. Um, during our rest, I would like to use my forge ability. Okay. And transform my mace into a hand axe. Okay. The trees, thank you. Yeah, I was gonna say, you're gonna go smack <laughs> another tree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that doesn't change your, your damage or anything, does it? No, it's actually uh, it's from D6 to D6. Okay, good, because I didn't want to have to update anything <laughs> real quick. Um, okay, that's kind of cool uh, that you uh, can reforge your stuff. Um, so we'll say uh, that the evening passes, you guys go take a, a long sleep. And uh, y'all sleep well. Um, we'll say it's about, you know, 7 a.m. rolls around. And, uh, yeah, there's, there's not really, uh, individual rooms, but there's enough beds in the room. Um, uh, I'm gonna roll. Oh, give me one second. Sorry. You're fine. I'm gonna roll a thing. Okay. Uh, Zozo, roll a perception. <laughs> Maximize, please. There we go. Is it not working? Let's just drag the number over or um no. drag the die the dice icon. The die? It'll be in your skills tab. Is that Jimmy? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh, you're good. You're good. There we go. Yes. Ah. <laughs> uh, okay, so you you keep you know you're you're zonked. You're you're passed out. Um, you don't notice Very anything. Good. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna roll again. Um, okay, Nat, you roll a perception check. Yeah, you're you're even more out than Zozo. <laughs> I'm meditating hard. Yeah, right. Oh, actually, wait, no, you're you're an elf. Yeah, I don't sleep. <laughs> Although you did roll a one. All right, we're we're gonna RP this. Okay, Moira, roll a perception. Cool, that works. Um, where you you slowly start to you 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 kind of feel like a, a presence that kind of disturbs your sleep, uh, and you wake up, and uh, there's a Moira is wow, this is weird. Speaking to Moira as Moira. Well, I told you first day basis is okay. Yeah, <laughs> you're fine. Um, you're fine. You're uh, fine. Moira kind of is like leaning over the backside of the bed and just like is this close to your face. And like she, she's wanting to wake you guys up. She's used to waking up, you know, at the butt crack of dawn. And she's kind of been making her way across all the all you guys, seeing if you're gonna wake up. And uh, you kind of wake up, and she's just like right in your face. And oh, oh sir, good morning. And uh, Vasha, you're you were kind of like peering out the corner of your eye, but you didn't. You were acting like you were still meditating. So you saw what the heck was going on, but you didn't quite wake up or get out of your trance because you're like, this is disturbing my my meditation. But you wanted to see what was happening. <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, Moira kind of says, I, 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 I got I have breakfast ready for you. Oh, uh, thank you. Um, she kind of <laughs> Uh, hustles, hustles back out of the room and uh, kind of runs downstairs. Um, so, so far, Vasha and uh, Moira, or, uh, Eva are the only ones that are actually awake. Um, Zozo's out. We didn't really roll roll for Sulfur yet. Sulfur, if you want to roll to see if uh, you hear any of that. What am I rolling? Um, perception. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, you wake up uh, as well as you hear Moira kind of run out the room. I open my eyes at the word breakfast. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, Zozo's just kind of just out drooling out the face or like side of the mouth. But the rest of you guys are waking up. Um, I'll go downstairs and get some food. Okay. Uh, so you just kind of walk on by and just go get some food. If I'm walking by Zozo's room and I know that like... Well, you're all in the same to... room. Oh, okay. But yeah, do you if walk I'm by the her? Last one, if I'm the last one besides her in the room, I'll just like pluck her guitar to like try and wake her up without like she didn't like it when I touched her before yeah you might get attacked from that um <laughs> sure uh go ahead and roll her another perception Zozo <laughs> see how asleep you really are I mean, he's technically should be at disadvantage but whatever <laughs> uh, disadvantage okay, is not sleepy. needed um, okay, so Sulfur walks on up to Zozo, who's holding, you know, her loot. And, uh, he reaches over and bling! And, uh, that makes Zozo spring awake. And however you respond beyond that is up to you. I think, uh, she reaches for a dagger, and then she sees a Sulfur. Okay. And she looks around, notices no one's here. <laughs> I'm left with my loot. <laughs> yeah, don't touch my stuff. It's like I was waking you up. You want breakfast? <laughs> okay, um, so you guys, <laughs> a little interaction there. What a way to wake up! Just touch my stuff. Just goes straight to stab. I like that. Um, so you guys head downstairs. And, uh, you know, it seems like Moira took some time to actually make something a little more hearty um, than, you know, the impromptu dinner that she made last night. Um, but uh, you have a, a good breakfast and you're ready to set out on uh, your little journey here. You guys... All right, Moira, go take us to wherever you need us to go. Um, she she has a slight look of worry in her eyes, but um, also some anticipation. Um, and she kind of nods and uh, she starts leading out. She has a, a little sack of stuff she's bringing with her, but um, she starts leading you guys to where um this hideout might be. Um, let's see. Okay. Um, so after, you know, a lengthy journey, um, you, you, you find a, a vantage point, um, to, uh, like, like a cave entrance. And she kind of, she kind of points in the direction, um, that it, it's hard to see that there's an entrance there, but. You wouldn't, no you wouldn't normally notice there that was an actual entrance, but having it pointed out to you, you realize there's something there. Um, and you wouldn't even presume that there would be uh, bandits in the area at all. Um, but yeah, so she, she kind of points off in that in the direction. Um, the, the entrance is kind of uh, partially obscured by a, a large boulder. Um, it looked perhaps it's an intentionally placed there. Um, but yeah, so uh, it's like, you know, still 100 feet off, but you know where the entrance is. Is it a nice boulder? <laughs> That's a nice boulder. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just happy you got the reference. That's all I care. Oh, did they mention how long ago all of this stuff happened? Like, was this like a couple of months ago, or was this like a year or more ago? Uh, at least... A year. At least um, a year, from, okay. You, you can recall from the story that uh, the professor was saying was uh, at, at, 
or from the dust and stuff that settled in the town, it's been at least a year just from the dust in the town, but it could have been a couple. So do we know if they're even still here? That's kind of what you've come to figure out. Let's... I'm going to move towards the entrance quietly. Uh, I was going to say, yeah, do we want to go in guns blazing or do we want to go a more... <laughs> <laughs> I, don't know if I, I don't know if I want a Fergus repeat. A Fergus I repeat. Quietly with this one. All right, I will cast Pass without a trace on us then. Okay. That gives you like a plus ten or something on yourself. Plus plus ten to all everyone's self rolls. Nice. Uh, so go ahead and cast that on everyone. Then everyone can roll stealth. Why did you have a pe Oh, because you're in heavy armor. Yep. I figured out how to put the roll with disadvantage and advantage now. Nice. But so. it's plus 10, so 22. Okay. Um, actually, I think you can just cast that on everyone, too. Hold on. Actions. Pass without a trace. Where is that? It falls under my uh, racial abilities. Uh... uh -huh. Not blessing of the fort. Merge with uh, stone. Merge with stone. Yeah, if you go under my abilities traits, merge with stone. And you are able to do pass without a trace on everyone with that. You can cast pass without a trace once with this trait, requiring no material components, and regain this ability to cast it when you finish a long rest. Okay, hold on. We're giving you pass without a trace. Uh, to your spells list. Okay. Um, and I might, should we name this? And this is, um, what's that called? The, your racial? Merge with stone. Actually, we can, yeah, we can do that. One, there we go. All right, cool. So you have a racial spell now that you can cast this on all your friends. Yeah, cool. All right, so I'm going to cast it on everyone. And you, yours was 22. So everyone, uh, go ahead and roll a uh, stealth check. It's showing plus one. That's weird that it's not counting it. So we'll just add it. So 25. 29. Jeez. Uh, you guys are all going to roll above 20, <laughs> apparently. Uh, so I I think you're fine. Um, we'll figure out how to get that actually to work properly. Um, but you guys are kind of you're sneaking up towards the entrance. Oops. Where's the music? Sneak, 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 sneak. Okay. Um, you kind of sneak up towards the entrance. Um, there's a you kind of can peer inside. Uh, there's a large antechamber. Uh, opens up just beyond the cave mouth. Um. And as you can see, there there's a fire that's been there, and there's some figures walking around the cave. Um, are we able to get a better view on the figures without giving ourselves away at all? If I want to creep a tiny bit closer. I'm um, sure if you want. And then uh, go ahead and roll a perception. Boom. I can't roll double digits with perceptions, apparently. Apparently not. Um. Yeah, you just noticed that obviously uh, this cave has been in use um, for a while, um, but you don't no make any noticeable discernments, I guess. I'm not a hand gesture like people. 
uh, to your your teammates. Yeah. <laughs> you just is that what your hand gesture is pointing? Yep, just, they're over there. <laughs> uh, do you say anything or do? You... Okay, I'm gonna everyone that is not sulfur, roll <laughs> a insight check. Yes, <laughs> absolutely, <laughs> happily. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> okay. Okay, Vasha is just like, all right, I don't, he's, he's pointing. Hooray. Um, Zozo is like, yep. Um, I don't know what's happening, but he's pointing, so you're just kind of confused. Eva, on the other hand, is like, oh, let's fucking go! And, oh, and uh, Eva, you kind of start walking straight into the ca uh, the cave. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, right. we should probably switch the, uh, oops. I just realized that this. All right, we're sw we're switching scenes here. Okay. Uh, so Eva kind of walks into this cave nonchalantly. No big deal. I messed up. <laughs> and uh, you see. A bunch of people in here. Um, but thankfully, to your past without a trace, there is a crap ton. <laughs> or your stealth is insane. So they don't see you. I don't like that you guys can't see the background. That's a, kind of a bummer. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, you guys can't see. Wait, there. Now you can. Okay, cool. Now it worked. Yeah, I don't yeah. know why it changed, there but it go. did. Um, okay, so that's that's the <laughs> that's what you see, Moira or uh, Eva. Uh, once oh, we I lost Nat. I'm... Oh, yeah, I had to read when you shared it. My entire fantasy grounds just went black, so okay. I'm restarting it. No worries. Oh, there we go. Um. Okay, so you're there. You're still. Do you see? Three figures hanging out here. <laughs> and you're just, ooh! I'm gonna make myself very, very small. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Slowly. <laughs> uh, what, what is the rest, rest of you gonna do? I mean, you're, you're technically not on the map yet. No. Sulfur's face palming, like, why didn't they understand that? <laughs> I was pointing that there was people I was there. obviously making sense. Oh, no. And we'll uh, pull everyone at least there. That, that's good enough for now. <laughs> you guys are out of the map, but it works. Um, mm. Eva's just kind of, okay. There's, there's boys here. A whole assortment of boys. <laughs> uh, oh, right. Um, Moira is technically still with you guys. Uh, she's she walks up next to Sulfur, and uh, she kind of points, and you see like rage fill her face as uh, she points at uh, one of the larger figures that is in the room. <laughs> All right, seeing her angry and Eva going too close, I'm gonna go after Eva and like stand beside her and pull like my arm out to like protect her. Okay. Um, and you you do this to Eva? Yeah, like okay, just just stay back, like. So yeah, we we can put you up next to. Why can't I move you here? I cannot move you to the proper square for some reason. That's fine. Whatever. Um, so you, you kind of just pull them back. Um, what do you guys do? Moira kind of walks up to you. Starts. Say, That's him. 
Where are we? That's him. That's Fergus. I'm gonna just hold up my thumb and be like, oh, and turn to Vasha and Zozo and be like, in mouth, ready? Okay, we'll say that they can understand that you're about to attack Symbol. <laughs> I will cautiously, like, go behind them, move a little closer. Okay. And we will... It's a little stealth in as well. Okay. Why do things look funny? I don't know why. Um... Okay, so, since they can't detect you, I'll say you guys get a surprise round. Um, so, I don't know, we can go, we can go around the, the table if you guys want, um, if you guys want to do any sort of surprise round, uh, tactics. Uh, so, Vasha, if you want to, if you want to do something on your surprise round, go for it. Huh? I will um, and I just um I'm gonna cast Oh, I don't have that. Never mind. Um, where do I? Equipment. No, I don't. Okay. Um. I am going to just give Shield of Faith okay. to... I'll give it to Eva. Okay. Go ahead and uh, cast it on her. Okay. Sorry. I The map is all messed up on mine, so I have to minimize oh. it every time. Here. I'll, uh, <laughs> we, we can move you forward, I suppose. Okay. Does that help? Um... Ah. Actions. Where did Zozo go? Oh, he got stacked somehow. So I will cast Shield of Josh, Faith. your character's broken. On there it goes. And cool. She's got plus two AC. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Cool. Um, and that's all I'm going to do for now. Okay. Uh, Sulfur, go ahead and take your surprise action. Uh, I mean, I would probably just charge in. So, we'll skip you for now. Okay. <laughs> Eva, uh, go ahead and take your surprise action. Uh, I mean, it would call a lot of attention um, to just use use wild shape right away. So, um. <laughs> Uh, and then not maybe do that right away. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm trying to think of what. Is... I mean, technically, all this you can say happens at the exact same time, so, so you technically can charge in uh, with sulfur if you want. Um, yeah, I might, yeah, I might do that. I might just pop it, pop wild shape, and then do that with him. If he's gonna go full in, then I might as well just go full in, I guess. Okay. Uh, Zozo, is there anything you want to do for your surprise? I think she would just try to immediately cast a spell on Fergus. Okay. Um, what would you cast? Hideous laughter. Make him start laughing like a crazy person. Okay. Um, let's do all three of those at once. Go ahead and do the your hideous laughter check on him first.
Thanks. Oh, no. <laughs> Um, okay, so click the magnifying glass to expand it and then drag the wisdom save dice onto his head. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Um, so he did not save, so you hit him. So and then go ahead and cast the effect onto his head. is hideous laughing. All right. <laughs> what exactly does that do again? Let's see. <laughs> the creature of your choice that you can see range perceives everything as hilariously funny and falls into a fit of laughter. This spell affects it. The targets must be received or fall prone. Unable to stand up for the duration. Oh my gosh. Okay. And each time it takes damage, the target can make another save. He gets advantage on it if it's triggered by damage. Okay, so he's prone laughing his ass off at <laughs> I don't know, the, the flickerings of the, the campfire on the rocks <laughs> that are right there. So, uh, he, he a great day. yeah, he is laughing like a crazy person. Um, got a drag prone onto him. Um, and in doing so, that alerts the other two guys. They're like, what the hell is happening? Um, but since you guys had prepared action, uh, Sulfur, go ahead and charge on in. And I get to make an attack with my hand axe now. Sure. Ugh. And you miss. Uh, Eva, your surprise action. Yes, uh, I'm gonna, does this, no? Oh, uh, it's, I can't do anything because it's not my turn. Uh, that's weird. Everyone else was able to do stuff. There you go. Thanks. Mm hmm Spanks. All right, uh, I'm gonna move a little bit and I'm gonna whack him because he needs to get whacked, it sounds like. Give him a whack. <clears throat> Prepare yourself, sir. Ooh. Now <laughs> uh, you hit him. <laughs> okay. Damn. Uh, let's hit him. Wow. And you did damage, and he has to bit. make a save. To see if that hideous laughter gets removed. Actually, if that happened at the exact same time. Let me open this character. No, let me, let me, uh, let me open his sheet. There, okay. Roll a wisdom. And he fails miserably because he's dumb as fuck. Um, okay. Oh no. Now we roll for initiative. Um, do you guys want to roll your initiative or do you just want to roll as a whole? Like I, I roll it all at once. I'm fine with whatever. I'm fine with auto roll. I don't okay. care. Yeah, you can roll. I didn't know if you guys would be like, nah, I like that feeling. Yeah. All right, roll all initiatives. All right. Uh, well, Moira's first turn, I guess. Um, she's just going to go hide behind these rocks. Um, she's she's not... <laughs> she's not going to try to participate in this battle if she can help it. All right. Bandit Marauder sees oh crap i just closed it oh i need that back give it okay bandit marauder uh sees all this stuff happening and uh shoots at the giant bear attacking uh the man on the ground yoink i can't, I can't fisticuffs as a bear but uh hits. <laughs> and then bah. Uh, yeah, he's distracted. He thinks they're being, you know, obviously in a cave. You think that a, a bear is coming to try to take over the cave. But doesn't notice the <laughs> other people just Whatever yet. Whatever they know. <laughs> <laughs> Probably 
surprise bear. <laughs> surprise bear. Um, let's see. Next turn will be ah uh, buttons. How do I cast this from this form? It's fine. Okay. Um. Basha, you get a, a wild attack coming in from a corner. Uh, but your armor just happens to. There's a. You see it just in time. A, a purple misty ball of death comes flying in at you and goes off your armor. Um, the other marauder pulls out his crossbow as well and also shoots at the bear. Uh, that's damage. All right, so you took six damage if this hits. If not, I have to undo it. Of course, it misses, so I have to heal the six stake of damage. All right, that's fine. Okay. Sulfur, it's your turn. All right, I gotta do what I gotta do. <laughs> so... Uh, bonus action. Oh, that's not what I meant to do. Gotta go to 21. And then I'm just gonna smack the guy beside me with my action. Okay. Why is he not identified? There. There it goes. Um, and you hit him. Nice. Nice. Alright, he gets to try to roll that save, which is at disadvantage, or at advantage. He keeps rolling the same number. Alright, advantage. Yeah, he cannot break out of that for the life of him. <laughs> Uh, Zozo's nice turn. Zozo. All right. Get my map adjusted so I can't see the other guy anymore. Where'd he go? Okay. Uh, Zozo wants to try and cast uh, Vicious Mockery on that Marauder, the bandit to the left. Go for it. Uh, you hit him. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Yeah. He, uh, yeah. he saved. It's always, okay. it always, like, reads backwards. Uh, he barely saved that. <laughs> uh, you still have a move if you want to move. Although you can uh... <laughs> hang outside the cave where it might be safer. Zozo might step back, see what happens next. <laughs> Bear's turn. I'm gonna smack him again. Smack him uh, again. Uh, okay. You definitely okay. hit. Uh, I'm bonk. And that was your bite. Yes. Cool. So you now and you can I'm, claw him. I'm also gonna take a swipe at him. And that hits. Jeez, massive stinking damage. 27 to hit? Oh, sir. How'd you get a... <laughs> Yo, how'd you get a plus 8 to okay. hit? how do you get a plus I 8 may... to hit? I have no clue. I had plus... Did, did I have plus 6 before? I don't know if it's something. Because he's like... Is it because oh, he's still prone? Right, maybe? It's, um, it's plus 6. But also you get advantage because he's prone. And he's flanked, so you get a plus 2. Holy crap! All right. <laughs> so yeah, you messed him up. I'm rubbing my grubby little paws too. <laughs> All right, let's see if he saves. Hey, he, his hideous laughter is finally saved out. I hit him too hard. Sorry. <laughs> Vash, it's oh, no. your turn. 
Alright, I'm I going... I kept him on the ground for like a turn and a half. Holy crap. <sighs> I'm going to cast... Hold on, I'm trying to see the map and my book at the same time. Uh, is the Marauder one or two on the left? Uh, two. Okay. I am going to cast a Toll of the Dead Bung. on him. Go for it. Uh, he saved. Dang it. Although just barely, because apparently they don't have a bonuses to their wisdom. They're all dumb. <laughs> um. Okay. I'm going to... Oh, sorry, let me pull up the map again. I wish I didn't have to go back and forth. Um, That's weird that you have to. Yeah. I'm gonna move, um, kind of to the right of Eva, like, here. To the right? Uh, we're not seeing yeah. your movement yet. Like there. Boink. Can you see that? Okay. Okay, so we'll either here or the square below it, so you're, you know, in a square. Uh, the square below it. There you go. Yeah. Um, as you approach that area, you see, uh, another figure uh, hiding behind those rocks. You can probably piece together that that's where that big purple smoke bomb came from. Oh. Okay. Oh. And I want my turn. Okay. Uh, Fergus confused why he was just laughing horrendously while getting beat in the face on the ground uh stands up and uh fisticuffs the uh the bear come at me bro oh he just rolled Try a 20 me. oh no oh no he really came at me yeah he did oh, no. <laughs> all right that's oh. not so bad so I need to get rid of this prone. Okay, and then uh, he's taking another swipe at you. He's angry. Oops, I did it backwards again. Blonk. Okay, they both hit anyway. Okay, um, roll two strength checks. Uh, Eva. Strength checks? Yeah, two strengths. Uh, or I saves, did, sorry. Uh... Can I just do two? I don't know what my. I don't think I have a strength modifier actually. Uh, let's. Um, you I can't, should. I can't get to my other sheet. I it got it for you. Bear, which... Yep. Um, I can roll it for you. Here you go. Thanks. Yeah, I can. <laughs> can't get to my main sheet at the moment. There's your first one. <clears throat> What's the check that you need? Okay, you passed that one. Uh, you fail that one. Oh. Uh, you get knocked prone. His, his second smack knocks you over. Oops. This man really just punched a bear. Yeah, he, that's, in, he, that's incredible. He, <laughs> his right to bear arms, he took it literally. Uh, Moira is just going to hide oh, around the cool. corner. Uh, Bandit Marauder um, sees that the bear goes down and... Two. Avoids stepping on the fire <laughs> and comes over and uh oh uh, he dropped his crossbow up there so, and he grabs his daggers so remind me the marauder one doesn't have crossbow on him if i try to use it uh, but he's gonna try to attack the bear who is prone hits ow <laughs> does garbage damage then a second attack stabs bear. He's going for the super stabs with his daggers. 
Ooh. I felt that one. Uh, the figure that's hiding behind the rocks kind of sh shrinks away some more up into this corner and unleashes another purple blast of doom towards Vasha. Why do I got to open this every time? It's annoying. I already forgot how I do it. Oh, right there. Yoink. Uh, Vasha manages to whoo, duck out of the way. Purple blast goes flying above her head. The uh, other marauder over here, he also, actually, you know, make it easier. He also drops his crossbow and comes running in to attack the big man in iron. First attack. It's a miss. Second attack. Same roll. Another miss. Both the, the daggers completely just whip right by you. Sulfur. All right. Action I will use. Where is it? Word of Radiance. Uh, he failed. And could it hits anyone within five feet. So what, did, what does this do? Uh, anyone within five feet of me, I choose and they save or take 1d6 damage. Uh, so you did this to Fergus? It goes to both of them. Uh, Fergus oh. and the Marauder. Okay, so the Marauder saved. Uh, Fergus did not. Okay, so... Uh, Go ahead and takes damage. Yeah, stab him in the face. Nice. And then I will use a bonus action to cure wounds of the bear. I mean, uh, healing word. Healing word. Okay. Yeah, because you're not... Uh, I guess you could be considered within range. Nice. What a lovely heal on the bear. Thanks. I felt a few things, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, um, and... That's it. Uh, Zozo's turn! Alright, she's gonna attempt Vicious Mockery again on that little bandit. She readies her loot. He passed it with and... just what he needed. Oh, she puts it a, back down. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Forgotten her oh, notes. Hold on a minute. Something feels weird. Uh, let me. I'm gonna open up your sheet. And you did hideous laughter, right? Vicious mockery. Uh, right. Vicious mockery. All right. Where is it? That's your cantrip. That should be. Shouldn't that include your um your charisma modifier? It, it should be in the DC. <laughs> right. Uh, I don't think it's including her char uh, her charisma modifier. Let's see, because uh, it says wisdom 10 DC. And it should be her wisdom plus her charisma, right? Uh, no, uh, for her DC, it should be 8 plus proficiency plus charisma. 8 plus proficiency plus charisma. Yeah, so that... Your check has been wrong. Um, so we'll fix that real quick. We're going to have to go. Um, we'll look over your, your sheet after this because it looks like your things are wrong. Um, but we will see what it should be. So it should be eight plus whatever your charisma. Eight, ten. So it should be 13. He would not have made that one. So go ahead and roll the damage. I fixed it on your sheet too, so. Her confidence returns. <laughs> uh, she plays. And. You smack him. 
the damage. Nice. I'm trying to see if your last one should have hit, too. Because I'll, I'll give you the damage if it is. Uh, hideous laughter. Uh, you can roll it. Go ahead and roll damage the same thing on Fergus because he didn't save. Okay. Um, when you first did the hideous laughter on him. We'll give it to you. Wait, damage on hideous laughter? Uh, you did hideous. Or the vicious mockery. Or sorry, yeah, you did vicious mockery on uh, Fergus once, right? Uh, the, it was the same Marauder the oh. first time. Okay, go ahead and do it uh, to him again then, because he failed both times with uh, your actual calculation. There you go. Sweet. All right. So yeah, it looks like all your spells aren't actually uh, adding up correctly. So we'll just we'll be aware of it and then we'll fix it afterwards. Or as you decide to use them. If that's okay. Um. Oh, cool. Bear's turn. Bear time. I'm angry. He hit me. So I am now angry. Oh, you're prone, by the way. Oh. I'm not gonna hit. Uh, you gonna stand up? I'm gonna try, yeah. <laughs> Alright. You get up. All right, it's like that that waffle in the video. <laughs> uh, try to claw. Uh, you hit. Yay. Come here, sir. You hit me, I hit back. Dang, dude, that's a lot of damage. Yeah, you eat the shit out of him. All right. There we go. Smash his turn. Okay, um... Uh, I... How far away is this witch? Uh, she's about 40 feet. I mean, you, you can drag your character and it'll tell you how far. Uh, if you double click on your icon in the top left, uh, okay. that should just open your character okay. sheet too. Okay, cool. I fixed my map so I can actually see everything. Also, your save is looks like it's wrong. Great. It should be wisdom plus ability plus proficiency, right? And your cast is as cleric. It's charisma or wisdom. Uh, cleric is wisdom. Okay. All right, your toll the dead is fixed. Okay. Cool. Uh, uh, he completely fails. <laughs> Miserably. Okay. And he has no damage taken yet, right? Uh, Marauder 1? Yeah. No damage. Okay. That's just a D8 then. Damage been done. I will end my turn. All right, Fergus. Angrily takes some swings at the bear again. And uh, completely misses the giant behemoth of a bear. It managed to dodge <laughs> a punch. Managed to dodge. <laughs> This freaking ninja bear <laughs> dodges two fists. All right, Fergus. He was ready this time. Apparently, uh, Bandit Marauder uh, is going to attempt to trip Sulfur. 
Uh, go ahead and roll a, uh, a dex 30 save. Or a dex save, Josh. Check, I guess. Damn. And you fail. Okay. Um, you are knocked prone. Oh, God. I hate that I have to drag this stuff. Let me... Let me... Just... Let me... There you go. Okay, you are now prone. And uses his other ability to smack at the... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay. It doesn't matter. They both go first. I, I accidentally did Marauder 2 first, but it doesn't matter. Uh. Um, I'll just do the other one next. All right, so he's going to smack at thee. And rolls like garbage. <laughs> um, next person's turn. She's going to unleash another blast at the uh the downed cleric oh and there's a 20 wait a minute is, she is it ranged attacks or a disadvantage against knockdown people that's right oh my god lucky dude because <laughs> <laughs> she rolled a 20 all right well she's an idiot uh completely whoosh uh, you, you felt the tinglys go above your head as this purple bolt just comes flying over you. Alright, um, this guy, the other marauder, is going to attempt the same thing that his buddy did. Gonna, uh, Eva, go ahead and roll a dex check. That's good. Gonna try to trip a giant bear. Will it scroll for me, please? Thank you. <laughs> One of these days, there we go. Uh, okay, that does not want to roll for me. Can you just roll? There we go. Yeah. One of these days, it'll it'll happen. You also fail. Apparently, you guys can't make dex saves, but you know your armor and everything is top notch. And Fergus is just kind of lumbering idiot and can't hit stuff that's on the ground. Hey, we don't have to be graceful. We just have to be beefy. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Beefcakes, all of you. Okay, he hits for some damagi. Very little. Sulfur's turn. Uh, you're prone, by the way. Uh, I'll get up and so I can get rid of that prone. Okay. Um, and then I will swing at. You know what? I'm swinging at the bandit behind me. Okay. Um, Good thing this isn't three five rules, man. Trip was broken back then. Hit. All right. For the lowest of damage. <laughs> but you know what? I'll use a bonus action mm -hmm. and conjure my, my spiritual weapon behind him. Oh, dip. Crap. How do we do that? Uh, I'm getting serious. How does spiritual oh, weapon? No, I did not mean to do that. You rolled a thing. How does, uh... Alright, we're gonna... I'm gonna try something. Let's see if we can actually drag a spiritual weapon or something on real quick. Uh... Maybe not. Can I do an image? I just got a big random. I got a pee feel. I don't think I have any images for spiritual weapon. Oh no! Fantasy Grounds not responding. Don't do that. Okay. Um, you're just gonna have to remember about your spiritual weapon then, and uh, roll for it accordingly. Um, okay. well, that might it's be some be on the other side of him. Okay. Um, but there's gotta be a like yep, yeah, miss. Um, that's something I'll look up afterwards as well. Spiritual weapon, just remind me. 
And it's Zozo's turn. Alright, she readies her loot. Attempting to mock this guy yet again. Uh, he saves. I love her note and it does nothing. <laughs> she might move the... A little bit closer? Somewhere right there? Sure. Uh, Stand you've it. been hit. Right, Sulfur? No, you have not? Yeah, no, I have not. Never mind. So you've... If you get hit, we gotta remember to make sure you, that your concentration gets rolled if it doesn't do it. Yeah, uh, Pass Without a Trace is also gone on everyone. Is it? Because I have... I'm concentrating on another spell. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Spiritual Weapon just went off. There we go. Uh, okay. No, the Spiritual Weapon is not concentration, actually. Is it not? It's not. But okay. like, my uh, Shield of Faith is. Oh, you Shielded of Faith? Yeah, uh, in my first turn. Okay. I forgot. That's without a trace. Okay. Um, it's Bear's turn? Bear's turn. Yeah, I'm going to get up. Yes. <laughs> Stand up. Prone. You're done. I'm gonna hit this guy. Because I'm still angry. Uh, you hit? Heck yeah. Ooh, okay. Did some damage. Uh, get ready to get bonked again, sir. Potentially. Mm, nope. Maybe. I don't uh, know. His armor blocks it. <laughs> Sounds good. Vash's turn. Alright, I'm gonna do the same thing. Toll of the dead. Boom. On. <laughs> Boom. On, uh, Bandit 1. Okay. Ooh, natural one. Okay, well, that did absolutely nothing. Oh no, he rolled a one. Oh, he rolled a run. That's right. Okay, yeah. You you totally hit him. <laughs> I, I forgot you weren't just I was swinging. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> that was his save. Okay. <laughs> um. Yeah, you totally okay, ring his bell. Ha, ha. And he has taken damage now, so I mm -hmm. can use a d12. You nasty damage. Nice hit. And I will end my turn. All right. Fergus is gonna keep smacking this bear. You think he's a he's a big old behemoth of a man? He's gonna say you can take down a bear. All right, he hits. And does damage. All right, roll a strength check, Eva. Got it. Uh, does that pass? I keep forgetting what the check that is. Uh, you did not. So you were knocked pro He just keeps knocking you Thank down you. with his giant beefy Sir. fist. He's going to swing at you again. And definitely hits. Oh boy. And bonk. This is it for the bear. All right, bear's been popped out. Now you, now you got a <laughs> an elf just Oh, you're you're prone elf. Uh, and he kind of ah! get he's kind of shook because he thinks he's taking down a bear, but then there's a an elf kind of appears where the bear was and kind of throws him off guard for a second. <laughs> All right, Marauder number one. He's gonna have to step forward because he's out of range and he's gonna swing. Will he leave? Actually, he's gonna come after. Oh, you're 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 touching. Is that within range? That's within five feet, isn't it? If you're surrounded by them at all, like he could hit yes. Bashes still, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. All right, he's gonna attempt uh, stabbing at Vasha. Cause you keep tolling the dead, dead on his head, ringing his bell, that's a hit. Oh, uh, you did not make your con save. So Eva does not have the plus two AC. 
Second to attack. It's a hit. Just two dagger stabs right to the face. Oh. Um. Are you still on the ground, Sulfur? You are not. All right. Giant black or a purple mist of doom comes flying your way and completely misses. <laughs> This is what happened in the chat. I was <laughs> gonna say, yeah, dude, if she like... doesn't crit, she can't hit me. Really? That's funny. Because if she hasn't got a modifier on it, or it seems to be. That's funny. Yeah, maybe she's just bad. Um, <laughs> all right, the Marauder is gonna attempt to trip Sulfur again. Go ahead and roll a dex check. God. Yeah, dude, you can't roll above 10, apparently. No. Okay, so you're prone again. Ah. Yoink. And then he's gonna attempt to stab, although he misses all his attacks, even if you're prone, so. Oh, that one he hit. And, uh, sinks one of them straight through your armor plating under your shoulder. Just. And you pass your, uh, concentration. But, wow, with a nasty roll, too. Well done. Uh, but you do take some damage. Um, right. And then it's uh, Sulfur's turn. I get knocked down, but then I get up again. Get knocked down. Get up again. <laughs> um, but first we will have the spiritual weapon. Try and stab him. Nice. Yep, that's a hit. Oh my god, and max damage. Okay. And then I will attempt to smack him. Uh, you hit. And you do the minimum damage. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's it, though. Oh, okay. Uh, he's obviously uh, a little bit worse for wear. He's kind of he's bleeding out, barely holding himself together. Uh, but it's Zozo's turn. All right. Uh, Zozo is going to try and cast Dissonant Whispers on bandit number one. Okay. Before you do that, let's check that your, yeah. your thing is working, right? Uh, it is not, so I'll fix it. <gasps> Plus your charisma. Okay. It's working now. Uh, he totally fails. There it is. Ah, that was a lot of dice. Did I do that right? Yes, you did. 3d6. Okay. <laughs> Woo! Big damage! Nice. Yeah, he's, uh, equally, uh, distressed. His brain kind of gets racked by, uh, your cords and, ah, and takes a lot of damage. Still standing there. Is that your turn? So, so. Uh, yes. Do they have to move away also? Oh, right. I'm sorry. Yeah, see, remind me of that. Uh, he has to move his he has to move away from you right uh trying to read the thing i'm slow move as far as its speed uh allows away from you yep Ooh. obviously okay the creature doesn't move into obviously dangerous ground such as a fire pit <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that it said that. I totally would have made him run through it. <laughs> or takes half as much damage. Oh, wait. Never mind. Okay, so he has to move his speed away. So Eva... Oh, wait, you're prone. You don't get an attack of opportunity, but Vasha does. Heck so yeah. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. Oh, you know what? He'll run here. Then he'll just pick up his stupid crossbow. <laughs> 
All right, but Vasha, <laughs> go ahead and roll an attack of opportunity. Uh. Sure, I do it on the right one. Yep. Uh, you hit. Uh, sweet. No. And <laughs> boop him. <laughs> Just boop. <laughs> the smallest bit of damage. <laughs> That's Love really it. Funny. Totally had a chance uh, to murder late him, but nope. Just hey, where are you going? No. <laughs> no. Just smacked him uh, in the ass. Get out of here. I am going to get up. All right. You get up. And uh, methinks I will. Oh wait. Yeah, that's. T- yeah. Okay. I will move slightly. Uh, you will provoke an attack of opportunity if you move there. Oh, shoot. Okay. Uh, I will not move then. Okay. Uh, I was... Yeah. Okay. Vasha, you might be on your own for now. I will try to hit the man. With your stick? A stick. All right, you hit him. Bonk. Quite the bonk. And you did damage. <laughs> Just bonk him on the head really hard. <laughs> I have stick fear smack. Fear the stick, sir. Um, is Shillelagh a bonus action? I forget. Is it? I don't know. It's a cantrip. I don't know about a bonus ability. It is a bonus. Oh, is it? Yeah, if you want, we can say you did that. Okay, if you're okay with that, then. Uh, That's your bonus action. It's a cantrip. And then you hit him, and Shillelagh gives two more damage. Um, Actually, go... Um, I'm gonna put the damage there. Go ahead and drag Shillelagh on yourself, like you cast okay. it. Okay. Uh, roll Where is he? Self. And then it's Vash's uh. turn. Hey. Okay. I'm gonna cast Toll the Dead on Fergus. Alrighty. I think it's like this, right? All the tollage. No, it's not. I'm sorry. I don't All know. All the why tollage. I did that. Trying to uh, figure out how to cast it on self, but that was not where to click to do that. Uh, you hit him. Um, so. I think you can just do this. There you go. I did it for you. Oh, there we go. Okay. Uh, he fails. Both versions of Fergus can do nothing, I swear. Yeah! <laughs> so much damage! Whoa, okay. okay. Also, isn't that, is that supposed to do bonus damage depending on your modifier? I don't think so. No, okay. uh, cantrips. Uh, oh, that's right. Don't that's right. Do bonuses. All right, well, you just did a crap ton of damage. And, uh, cool. boom! Like he got his bell rung. Alright, um... I will end my turn. Alright. Uh, visibly angry, he takes a swing at the no longer a bear. And, uh, that hit. Whoa. Alright, I thought he missed. And go ahead and roll a strength check, Eva. And you rolled the oh, lowest man. damage possible. Oh, no. Uh, strength. Yeet. He's nope. gonna knock me over again. Yep, you just keep knocking you over. Good lord, sir. Then he's gonna swing at you again. His giant fist hits. And both times, the lowest damage possible. It's fine. <laughs> Alright, next turn. Uh, he's gonna use his crossbow. Actually, wait. So he ran all this way. He has to use the turn to pick up his weapon, regardless. Or he just runs back and tries to do some stabbing. I think he's gonna run back and do some stabbing. So he's gonna go this 10, 15, 20, 30. Alright. He's gonna attempt to, uh, uh, 
Sulfur, roll a deck safe. Yes, you are surrounded. Oh my god. Uh, you pass it. Yeah, you pass it. <laughs> All right, but he does do his secondary attack to stab at thee. And he totally misses. Uh, 21. 21 hits me. Um, does it? My AC is 21. We might have the rules where, um, you make it, you beat it. That's the rules they should be, right? Why does it think Normally you... Normally is... Yeah. Yeah, if you hit it, you... you If you beat it, you beat it. Yeah, okay, so he'll do damage. Glad you're keeping an attack on that. All right. Um, go back to this dude. All right. Hey, stab damage. If you, oh, if you yes. failed that, you would have really hated telling me that. <laughs> oh, 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 I'm always about playing fair yep okay um well this witch lady is uh really bad at her job but she's gonna try it anyway <laughs> Sing! and misses <laughs> oh, this poor lady. she's too oh, high no. up on her freaking witch potions or something <laughs> she's having a right. bad day yep she uh really is. sulfur go ahead and roll a dex check save whatever my headset's dying and you pass it ever yes. so slightly um and he's going to attack at thee actually no he's gonna uh he's gonna attempt to double trip go ahead and uh, roll another check and that time you fail but he doesn't get an attack so um well it doesn't fucking matter because now you turn you get to stand up yep i stand back up <laughs> He's trying, okay? He's not, like I said, they're not the smartest group in the bunch here. Um, yeah, so... Your turn. back up and... Swing at him. Ooh, a crit miss! Ooh! Yo, you did a suicide strike? You critically hit yourself in the same attack you fumbled with, receiving a negative conditions and effects of the attack. Alright, well, you stabbed yourself. So uh, I just roll damage my... on yourself. Du, 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 du. Ow! Oh. oh my god! Why you hurt yourself so much, my dude? At least you didn't. <laughs> what if you lost your concentration? <laughs> oh my god. Well, you okay. Know what? We still have a sacred weapon up. Yeah, so uh, what happened is uh, the, the Marauder tried to trip you, and you've been anticipating the trip, so you've been, you know, dodging, but he did a secondary one and it kind of threw you off. So you went to swing for him and you accidentally hit yourself in the leg. So th that's how that RP'd out. But go ahead and continue your turn. I have to switch the battery in my headset. Oh, I thought you rolled a crit. I was almost in the crit. Okay, you hit. Damage is done. Oh, you take him down. All right, well done. We will... All right, Marauder 2 has been taken Chase. down. That guy. Zozo's turn. All right. Uh, another round of dissonant whispers. This time, the other one. Go for it. Oh, yeah. Uh, he saved that. Holy crap! Wow. Big ass roll. <laughs> She moves a little closer though. <laughs> step forward. There. Oh, step forward like a beast. Okay. <laughs> I'm just gonna go stare at the dead body. Fair enough. Uh, all right. <laughs> Eva, your turn. Uh, yes, I would like to also get up. Okay. And I would like to cast cure wounds on myself. Go for it. <laughs> I'm hurting a little bit. Just a little. Just a little bit. <laughs> just a tiny bit. Uh. <laughs> Okay, you heal. A little bit, yeah. That's enough for me. I'm, I'm <laughs> chill with it. <laughs> Bash's turn. Not one bad hit away from absolute obliteration. Um, I'm gonna cast Toll of the Dead on Fergus. Go for it. Bing bong. I'm nothing if not predictable. 
Uh, he fails. He's, my God, he's the most worthless meathead ever. <laughs> <laughs> Ow, my god! <laughs> like a G12. Yeah, wow. Two okay. max damages in a row. All right. Yep. Bonk. He, uh, boom, boom, just falls over. Completely unconscious. Absolutely get hecked. <laughs> yeah, right? Dang. All right, I will. Um... Take my turn to move, or I will move there. Okay. And then end my turn. All right, Marauders says, "Ah, shit!" But you know he can't get out. You guys are blocking the exit. Uh, roll a uh, Dex save, Josh, or Sulfur. Yeah, yeah, I saw that coming. Yep, yeah, passed it. <laughs> Ever so slightly. Um, he is going to do it again. Yep, he's going to double trip. He saw his friend do it, and he's like, "That's a great idea," and it didn't matter. <laughs> nope. All right, witch's turn. She sees uh, two of her comrades fall. Um, she kind of. You see her start to weave something out of her hands and uh, around her fingertips, magic strands begin to appear. And uh, she kind of, she looks over at uh, Fergus's body and uh, just <laughs> reaches over and says, rise. And uh, these strands go and attach to his body and uh, Fergus reanimates back up. Killed the witch. Um, okay, that is her turn. Uh, Sulfur, your turn. All right, so the bonus action will be moving the spiritual weapon behind this other marauder. Okay. And then smacking him with it. Okay. Oh, nice. it kept wow. bouncing around between all those big rolls. Yep, you hit. Uh, and he's down. Um, and then I will Oops, turn one. to the Fergus who's back up and try and smack him again. Okay. Uh, blocked. That's fine with me. Zozo's turn. She's gonna move a little closer to the witch. Okay. And you know how this is gonna go, but we're gonna try hideous laughter on her anyway. Go for it. And I think her her DC is wrong on this one as well. Yeah, let's see. Hideous laughter. Yep, we'll update that. Let's see your charisma. Done. Thank you. Mm -hmm. There's got to be a way to auto populate that. I just don't remember how. Uh, she saves. Oh, shit. <laughs> um, she is very wisdomous. <laughs> yeah. So uh, seeing that, I think because uh, she can, Zozo can do another action, right? Or because she moved and cast a spell, she's done? Uh, yeah. Her, uh, casting a spell is an action, unless that's a bonus action. Okay. okay. I don't think it is, right? No, no. Yeah, it's All a full right, action. That's it for her turn. Eva's okay. turn. Uh, Methinks I'm going to go after the witch having a bad day. <laughs> or at least start to. Um, if you leave that spot, you'd get an attack opportunity from Fergus. Oh. Just heads up. Mm. I guess I can distract the big man. 
that's essentially what, what we're doing here. Um, I'm gonna try to hit him again. Okay. I'm going to attempt it. Oh, you did Thorn Whip. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Oh, uh, yeah, you hit him. Heck yeah. Oh my oh. god, look at all that damage! Woo! Okay. You did damage to him. <laughs> Holy cow, okay. That was a shit ton of damage. That. I did not expect that. I was like, wait, there's too many dice here. I did something wrong. <laughs> that was a no. crap ton of damage. <laughs> How'd you do that? Wait. What? I think it, it, it took your uh, shillelagh damage. And Thorn Whip. Yeah. Okay, get rid of the shillelagh damage. <laughs> there you oh, go. No. That was weird. Okay. Uh, I probably added shillelagh wrong to your, your effect then. Whoops. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. Woo. All right, Vash's turn. I'm going to cast aid and give... How far are you? Oh my God, you're 20 feet. Cool. I will give five health points. You three creatures? Yeah. Uh, five so, temporaries? Yeah. Cool. Uh, you should be able to just drag those temporaries onto your friends. Okay. So, yep, okay. Nice. Nice! Okay. So, I cast that, and then I will move. How am I gonna move? 35? Um, Fast. You'll speed it. Ah, oh, that's too far. You want to move like here? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I can at least still see. Yeah, her. line of sight. I kind of figured. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will end my turn. All right. Big man that is uh, unconscious takes a swing. And he hits. Uh, for not that much damage. I'm gonna get a black eye at the end of this. <laughs> <laughs> Something, right? Uh. Oh, I have to roll that individually. Boo! Alright, you take seven damage. Uh, although. You only take two because you had temporary life. From Vasha. All right, that's his attack. Uh, actually, you have to roll a, a save, a uh, strength save. Oh, a uh, strength save. Okay. Oh, back to main, please. Thank you. Uh, you pass. Ah, I anticipated it this time. Yeah, that's his turn. Uh. That dude is dead. Uh, again, she uh, starts crackling uh, strands between her hands and uh, raises the uh, other Marauder. And th that is her turn. Marauder 2 is back up. Unconscious, hanging there in the fight. He uh, takes a, a stab at Sulphur. Probably going to miss. And blocked by your armor. Sulfur's turn. All right, she just bringing them up, so you know what? I'm saying, screw it and going for her. Uh, you're gonna take two attacks opportunity. Yup. And so, okay. Oh, that's why they've been rolling that funny. It's fine. Um. Let's, where's your attacks? There you go, okay. Is there massive AC? Doesn't you have to worry about if attacks of opportunity? <laughs> Actually, did you move 35 feet? There he's 30. Okay. Uh, they both miss. You're fine. No, the second one does. The fist is 21. Oh, that's right. Um, all right, bonk. Um, you passed your concentration, but roll a strength save. 
If you fail it, you don't get that run. Yeah. Ooh, <laughs> you make it. That was teetering on like an eight, and I was like, Ugh. Yeah, that would have been very unfortunate if all of a sudden you just bonked you down, like, where are you going? All right, now that I get up to her, I'm mm -hmm. gonna drop my shield of faith. Okay. Um, and I'm using my bonus action to cast a spell on myself. Okay. Uh, Searing Smite at level 2. Ooh, gives fire damage. And I'm gonna attempt to smash her. Oh, hey. with a 20! Oh, nice. Oh. Heck yeah. Nice. Well done. Now, do I roll double damage on the Smite as well? I think it's gonna do it for you. Let's see. So... I, I don't think it's double damage on the Smite. I think it's, um... Let's see. That's a lot of damage. <laughs> damage. Yeah, yeah, I did double weapon damage Woo! and then just normal smite. Yep. All right, yeah, uh, you just did an absolute insane amount of damage to her, like, caught her hat on fire. <laughs> she actually is on fire, and at the start of her turn, she'll have to make a con save or take a 1d6 damage. Um, okay. Is that an effect? I uh, can the do searing smite. Right, I'm just seeing if there's, like, on oh. fire effect. Oh. Nope. Okay, so just remind me on her turn. Okay. Uh, can she save from it or no? Uh, yes. It, once she saves from it, it totally ends. Uh, right. The, uh, what's the save? A constitution saving throw. 13. At the beginning of her turn or after? Beginning. Okay, so she can save from not being on fire. Got it. Yes. <laughs> okay, Zozo's turn. With her little legs, <laughs> gonna run up. Oh, she's getting in the fight. She wants to do some stab. She's gonna take out her little dagger. Okay. And I don't know. Can she attack as well? Or no, because you have to put your weapon away. Yeah. Or your loot away to switch. Or if you right. you can choose to drop your weapon and draw your dagger as a a bonus action. But then, so you know, you, never drop yeah, I figured she wouldn't, she but would risk taking a hit. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Okay. Eva's turn. Okay. Uh, I'm making the call to. Burr! Again. Okay. Because <clears throat> I don't know, feel like it might be a good call. <laughs> but what do I know? I'm I'm the distraction. <clears throat> That's definitely you not totally good. dodged that. The, uh, the strings kind of pull them out of the way of your, your chompy chomp. What? I don't know why that was two uh, of them. Me neither. I'm going to try that again. Hold on. Let me go back in here because apparently my computer is acting up. Ooh. That's also not going to hit. Yep. <laughs> the, the, pulling the strings Never. around. <laughs> Never mind. Double dodge. Bash's turn. Okay, seeing that the other two ran towards the witch, and now Eva's by herself, I'm gonna move back. Okay. And I'm going to cast All of the Dead on Fergus. Okay. Man needs another bing pong. Yeah, bong. <laughs> really trying to mess with his head here. And you does, completely fails that. <laughs> Has he taken damage since he's? I mean, he's he's been damaged this whole time. Okay. Now, so yeah, you're fine. Just keep beating his pull battered poor battered corpse to pieces, I guess. Okay. okay. Well, he's damaged. I only did three damage, anyways. Oh. Uh, is it Fergus's turn? Nope. Yeah, I'm done. Okay. Also, looks like the uh weird thing over there is fucked up. The chat got all fucked up Sorry. over there. 
for some reason. Um, all right, he's gonna swing at the bear. Come on. Oh, it's because this thing keeps happening. It's fine. Swing at the bear. On the side. There you go. Uh, he hits or garbage damage. Oh, wait, it doesn't show when I do that. There you go. Hit <laughs> you for four damage. Slap me around a little. <laughs> That's his turn. Oh, wait, you got to roll a save strength. Oh, yeah, uh, strength save, which should actually be better in this form, yep. I think. And oh. you totally pass it. Because really I'm a bear. <laughs> All right, the uh, the witch, seeing that she's obviously in a, a threat range here, uh, has pulled out her little dagger and uh, tries to stab. Oh, uh, she has to take fire. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Con save. Uh, con save. Where are you? There you go. Uh, save. All right, what's the check that she needs? Con 13. Oh, she passed it. Fire. Oh, yeah. So then, yeah, she's not in fire anymore. Okay. Either. She's not on fire anymore, but she's going to take a stab at uh, the halfling that's been running around. Uh, Probably going to miss. Or she hits. And stabs at the little halfling. How did you... Oh, you absorbed... Because uh, the shield that was on you. Lucky you. Um. And. And it's a poison dagger. So you take that. Do you save the poison? Uh, go ahead and make a constitution save, Zozo. You, ooh, you rolled exactly oh. what you needed. <laughs> um, the uh, marauder kind of walks forward and he takes a swipe at the bear. He hits, takes a stab at the bear. It, oh man, that took forever for the damage to show up. Sulfur's turn. All right, so I still have my... No, I don't want to do that. Uh, no, stop. <laughs> okay, I still have my spiritual weapon down there, right? Yep. So I'm going to have it attack Bandit Marauder 2. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. A sp a spiritual, spiritual weapon is not a concentration. That's right. It is not. Okay. Uh, you hit... Uh, damage been done. All right, and then I'm going to try and place my hand on this switch and use Inflict Wills. Bad touch. At first level. Oh, no. oh, 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 Okay, so, uh, you managed to <laughs> not get a bad fumble, uh, but uh, you completely miss <laughs> with your secondary... Critical miss of the night. Oh, that's about me. She's a dodgy <laughs> witch. All her robes and stuff, you think you're reaching for it. We just... Whoosh, we just kind of singe off bits of her robe. Be. Zozo's turn. Alright. Zozo's gonna try and stab her back. <laughs> Heck you! Stab back. <laughs> uh, you hit. Damage done. Nice. Bear's turn. Bear time. Uh, we're gonna chomp. Yes, chomp. Hit. Chomp. Okay. Chomp time. Damage done. Why is that still two? I don't. Oh, understand. it's because it. 
keeps giving him an effect of unconscious. Oh. Very confused. Uh, go ahead and... Ah, you hit. Screw it. Okay. Damage done. Heck yeah. Uh. Alright, he's gonna take a swing at the bear! Uh, are we skipping my turn? Uh, yeah, apparently. No, go ahead. <laughs> Sorry. There you go. It's your turn. <laughs> I'm sorry. I apologize. It's okay. I'm gonna do the same thing I've been doing. You hit. Nice. Damage done. Perfect. And, um, bonus action shield of faith on my pal brown bear pal nice. brown bear <laughs> nice sweet all right now it's fergus's time he's gonna leave your attack or your attack range so you get an attack of opportunity eva five Ooh. ten fifteen twenty 25, 30. He's gonna come up here. So go ahead and roll your attack and stuff on him. I would like to claw at him, indeed. Uh, you hit him, and he misses his attack on Sulphur. I'm going to damage that boy. Not for too much, but you know. We'll take <laughs> We're it. Here. Damage done. All right, it is now. Uh, the witch is gonna weave together her hands again and she's gonna try to resurrect the other man. And that's gonna be her turn. And then this guy is also gonna leave your attack range so you get a free attack. Oh, no, you already, you get one reaction per round. Uh, so he's just gonna leave. You know. No, he, no, he's gonna stay here. And he's gonna attack you. Wow. That's a hit. Damage. And then the the marauder who just got. No wait. Eh, he got Rez's turn. We'll say he doesn't get a turn. Sulfur's turn. All right. Um. Let's try this again, you know? I just warm it up. It was just a warm up round this <laughs> round. A warm up critical miss, yes. Yeah. So I have to lose the spell slot. Oh! How rude! Uh, blocked. Her, yeah, her, um, her cloth somehow just completely disintegrates, or uh, your, your spells completely just go through her cloth. And then we'll make the spiritual weapon attack number two again. Uh, that hits. Yeah. Damage done. Oh my god, dog farted. <laughs> oh no. It's Ozo's turn. Stabby time. Stabbing the witch. Possibly. Oh! <laughs> oh, I, why did I think you Going rolled a right one? Ahead. You did! You rolled a one, I, but you're halfling luck! No. Dude, no. that's the second time you're halfling luck. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, so, you rolled a one, critical miss, halfling is like, nah, changed my mind, and then turned it into a 19, which you hit. <laughs> Holy crap. All right, halfling's OP. And then damage. Stabbed her right in the kneecap. Bear, Bear time. Bear time. And a critical! Oh. Holy crap! <laughs> we go for ones to twenties. Get ready, sir. <laughs> Ooh. Yep, big damage. That's kinda nasty though. 
Yep, hit again. Let's do it. Nice. Damage done. Uh, come on, work. There we go. Vash's turn. All right. So all this damage you're doing to these bodies, they're uh, they're still kind of hanging out unconscious, but uh, they are bleeding like insanely much. They 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 should probably, they, from what you can tell, they don't even look alive anymore at this point. But they are they're swinging at you nonetheless. Okay. Uh. I'm gonna move Is that still not on the rock? Okay There Sure And I'm going to just Try to blast all of the dead into this marauder's face. Go for it. Uh, he fails. Oh. Damage oh. done. <laughs> I did one damage. Oh, you didn't? I did Oh, you one did damage. one, yeah. <laughs> um, and then I uh, all right, he's gonna swing an armor man, and he hits. Yo. Yep. Okay, I can't believe that. But he does duck garbage damage now, so. Can I grab this, please? You take five damage. Um, and that is his turn. All right. Marauder 1 starts 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And he takes a swing at Zozo. And completely misses. Zozo whoosh, dodges out the way. Uh, the witch takes a stab. At Armor Man. And completely misses. Or, well, it's blocked by armor, rather. The other marauder takes a swing at the burr. And hits. For a little bit of damage. Sulfur's turn. Alrighty. Um. Yeah. I'm just gonna have to swing at her. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, you don't get a fumble roll, so, uh. Wow, you just have the worst luck right now. Alright, um, and then spiritual weapon roll. Uh, you hit. Where is that? What I need? Aaron. <laughs> hey! Damage been Sorry. done. That's it. Zozo's turn. Oh, nice roll. Definitely. Hit. Damage done. Bear's turn. Bear time. Uh, I feel kind of bad wailing on this dude, but you know, <laughs> he's the one that kept swinging, so yeah. you know. Damage done. Um, and uh, with that, one of his uh, ar arms just kind of falls out, like falls oh. completely off his body. 
Oh, he's, yeah, he's not coming back. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna mercifully do this again, I guess. <laughs> well, you missed that one. Somehow he dodged. <laughs> he's, he's lighter. He, listen, he's lighter. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he's just lighter. Fine. All right. He takes a swing at Sulfur. Oh, wait. Vasha, sorry. It's your turn. Like, okay. the, the combat tracker moves, and it brings up Fergus, even though it selects you, so it makes me think he's going. It's, it's your go. All right, I'm moving here. That's 35 feet. All right. Well, that's weird. It stopped you from moving there. There. Oh. There you oh. go. I was just delayed. Okay. Um, this poor helpless witch is just cornered. That's what she gets. <laughs> <laughs> I will. a little far for me, heading five more feet. <laughs> I will use, uh, well. Hold on, I'm gonna be back in two seconds. Something's happened to the dogs. You, you do your damage and stuff, whatever you need. I'll be right back. Okay. I guess I'll try to do Toll the Dead, even though I think she's gonna save it. DM doesn't return in 15 minutes. We're all legally allowed to level up. <laughs> okay. All right, sorry. Uh, did you hit? No. Oh, yeah, she saved. All right. Fergus's turn. He's gonna make an attack at uh, Shieldman. One of these times it's gonna hit like that. Holy crap! And then that's five more damage. That's his turn. Marauder number one. Oh, uh, roll a strength save, Josh. Or sulfur. Let's see if he got knocked over. You did. Oh, yeah. Wink. All right. Uh, Marauder that's up next to you is going to take a swing at you. And he rolls a crit. And does... A stabbage upon thee. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> Lucky, help, dude. My oh my goodness. Although she that does see cold. you, uh, <laughs> like take this damage, and you're you're clutching, you're clutching I the have damage. A character plan. It's okay. Uh, she she takes a stabbage at you. Uh, does she, she does hit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh, you are dying. Um, roll a con save. Oh, oh, 
You made it. Okay. You, dude, your bonus saved your ass. <laughs> That's some pretty good con. Yeah, you do. Um, okay. So she stabs at you. Uh, and yeah, you, you kind of... You fall to the ground. Uh, next. Why is this guy? Weirdly. Uh, he takes a swing at the bear. Uh, you hit. Takes a swing at the bear. And does some damage. Damage. You, uh, fail your death save. Uh, Zozo's turn. Oh, mm. Zozo's in a, a, a precarious situation. Or I got you, Solver. Uh, he's right above you. Stop. You hit her. And do a crap ton of damage. Well done. Uh, she's still... Wow. She's barely managing to hang on. Uh, bear's time. Bear time. This poor dude. In any yeah. other situation, I'd just be like, can I just, like, sit on him? Yeah, and his him his arm is just kind of... He's missing an arm. It's like he's, know. one of his eyes hanging out of its socket. <laughs> This poor guy. I really just want to sit on him and make him stop. I miss anyway. <laughs> and you roll a two. <laughs> <sighs> oh. he, at this point, he's just like body parts hung together by sinew. <laughs> and you're just uh, beating on him. You're just punching bagging him. You the, hit him. The, the, the less, the less muscles, And you roll two ones. Move. That's mean. Yeah. Just how it is. It's how it be sometimes. <laughs> Yeah, imagine rolling like four ones when you're using spells. Vash's turn. Or Josh. Am I in touching distance of sulfur? Sure. Yeah, if, if you're surrounded by the square, we'll say you hit it. You're going to get your ass Aww. saved by nature <laughs> cleric. <Yeah. laughs> hey. There you go. You heal him for one? Uh, yeah. Oh, spare, spare the, dying. the dying. Okay, cool. Got it. So I bought you <laughs> yeah. a little bit more time. <laughs> Not that that's gonna last long, but at least it's something. At yep. least you don't have to yeah, try to save those bedrolls. <laughs> um. <laughs> well, you're stable again, so. And um, I will end my turn there. All right. Uh, oh, you're still prone. He's going to swing at you. And he, oh, that was oh, a 20. No. That was a 20 and it changed to a two. But he still hit you. Ooh. All right, hold on. Does seven damage. All right, you're unconscious again. Uh, where's effects unconscious? Wink. All right, or er, you're not unconscious. You're incapacitated. Not intoxicated. There you go. <laughs> All right, that is Orgus's turn. Oof, you're in a bad spot. All right, uh. Marauder's gonna attack Zozo and hits. Oh. With a little bit of damage. The witch seeing uh, this other cleric rush up to and pulling up her friend sees that as a threat and takes a stab at you. And a natural 20. Oh my god. Everything's going tits up. Uh, you saved your succession or your whatever your concentration. That's the word. Uh, roll a, a constitution save. Mm. 
You need a 15. Fleet. Ah. Uh, all right. Well, now you're poisoned. Ah! Everything is going awful. Uh. I'm giving that concentration back because it's just poison from the dagger. It's not additional damage. What was that? Uh, the AC? Yeah, I can just cast it on her. Yeah, you do that. Easy. You know where it's at. Okay. Um, second Marauder, I will wait until you put it back on her. Okay. Okay, you got it back. Sweet. Yep. Uh, gonna attack the bear. And you dodge out of the way. Sulfur makes, uh, does not make a safe a death throw. No, dude. Although, wait, hold on, hold on. How do, how do death throw, does it reset? Yeah. Okay, that, good. So. That's why I did that. Yeah. Because. Yeah, big brain plays, dude. Big brain plays. Zozo's turn. Okay. Stabby stab. Please hit. Please hit. You hit. She's dead. She literally takes one damage. She's dead. You killed her. Oh my god! In the big toe. <laughs> right in the big toe. Oh, I'm sweating, guys. <laughs> like, okay. So, as you kill her, those the rest of the bodies go, and they just kind of fall over. Oh thank god! Because okay, they, <laughs> they were just they were just puppeted. Oh. Whew. Everything went so bad in the last three rounds. <sighs> oh, okay, um, she, she and just everything falls apart and they die and everyone just like falls down, dies. Sulfur is laying face down in the dirt, just bleeding out. And uh, bears over there. You, you guys are standing there after this fight. How do you guys respond? I guess I'll save him again. All right, you're going to go spare the dying? Yep. All right. Oh, my God. Are we free move now after that? Yeah, or? you guys okay. uh, can move around. Oh, my God. Do I have enough time to cast Prayer of Healing on everybody? I didn't mean to do that. Oh. What'd you do, Josh? Can't do that. Oh, you I accidentally can't. clicked. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a ritual. I mean, the, the fight's over. You can okay, do it. Okay. Oh, my God. Wait, what happened to the other one? I guess I threw it too hard. It <laughs> fell off. <laughs> uh, yeah, it doesn't show you rolled it, so there you go. All right, everyone. Did that heal everyone? Did you no. heal everyone for 11? Is that what that's doing? Oh, I got yeah. Because it. it's not showing Josh got healed. I didn't have anybody healed. Uh... How does it? All right, hold on. Let me repeat. Uh, oh, that, two to eight plus your. Oh, so just um. So if you if you drag the two d eight onto him, it'll heal him. Oh, okay. So you just have to do it to everyone individually. Yeah, just yeah, do that, and then we should be good. Let's see if it All actually right. works. Who did I do that? Uh, to? You did it to the bear. Okay. So that one worked. Sick. Okay, yeah, it's working. Uh, Holy crap. Oh, I was... I kept... I kept was like, yeah, th those are bodies. Stop hitting the bodies. <laughs> go, go, go kill the witch. Yeah, once they can't figure him up, I'm like, yeah, I'm just gonna run for her. Yep. Oh, man. Oh. All right, cool. Um. Holy crap. So this whole... <laughs> this whole module thing that I had planned here was supposed to be done in one session, and it's going to be three. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool, uh, because We're Josh has to go like... here in uh, yeah, 30 minutes, like... uh, so we can do a quick wrap-up. But uh, you, you managed to, you know, take down the witch. Um, we'll catch up next week. Um, but Moira kind of runs in, and uh, she runs over to the body. Why can't I move her? 
I'm the DM. I get to tell her if I can move. Um, and runs over to Fergus's body, and she has obvious shock upon her face. Uh, but that is where we're going to leave today's session. And we can pick up again next week. I am actually sweating, guys. I, I, I was starting to worry that people were going to die. I and thought Sulphur was in for it for a minute. And I was like, <laughs> no, no one's supposed to die right here. Come on. <laughs> I got it under control. Three times totally that fight. Okay if I die. Three. Just okay. Out of there. I'm gonna say this. Three times that fight. So three of the four people that you guys downed, the, they got down to one HP on the final hit. <laughs> like that whole last round shouldn't have happened because Bulga had one life from the last person that hit her, <laughs> and then everything just went tits up, and then, oh, that was bananas. Oh, holy crap. All right. Uh, so I guess we'll pick up again next week. Um, how are you guys feeling about everything that's going down? Besides, you know, Josh almost dying. <laughs> well, that was awesome. Oh, my God. I love intense moments like that. We're like, oh, shit, this could go so wrong. It, it, and it went so wrong so quickly. And the fact that it went so wrong so quickly when they were in puppet mode and doing garbage damage had garbage chance to hit. But no, Mr. Fergus, when he's, you know, fully conscious, can't do anything. But when he's in unconscious mode, all of a sudden he just messes stuff up. See, his, his dumb brain got in the way, apparently. Uh, also, I need to fix the overlay there. Okay, so we need to look up the spiritual weapon thing. I need to check out your guys' spells to make sure that you're getting your, your proper castings and stuff like that. Um, I don't know. You guys, you got anything you got to say? Um, yes, because uh, I was looking at preparing different spells yes. um, for like the next long rest. Mm -hmm. I don't have everything I should. Yeah, um, I, that's something else I have to do, too. I have to go and unlock all the spells. Yes, I was just give yeah. you a reminder um you know what i should probably hey do you want to dm me that because i'll probably forget sure. um and then that'll remind me to do the other stuff too okay okay so both sessions we end upon <laughs> the the combat or right after a combat Woo. yeah all right i need to go take a shower i'm all sweaty and nervous <laughs> did you know more was playing when you named the npc no no not yet uh that and then I was like, oh, I'll just rename her Mira. And then I was like, nope, because the other NPC I had named is Mirabelle. So it didn't fucking matter. <laughs> so we just kind of have to roll with it. Um, I don't know. All right, friends. Um, so that was session two for you guys. I guess I had another whole module planned so we could do more character development. But if this is going to go three uh, sessions long, I think uh, we'll finish up this module and then we'll get you guys introduced into the main group. And then after after next session, we might come up with a way to join everyone in. So. Ooh, but it's good to hear, Josh, that you are prepared, to, like, in case uh, your character dies. You know, oh, I, I man, I'm a DM. Yeah, I, you understand. Player, I've had it happen. I've had it happen to me like twice now. I've done it to people like four times. Like, yep. it, it's it's always upsetting. It was like, oh, that's my character. I can't do anything. It's like, no, just. Make another one. It, you're still a yeah, player. Like, I have... I'm like you. I have folders of character ideas, so... Cool. All right, my friends. Um, I never know how to end. So... <laughs> uh, I hope you guys had fun. Um, hope you guys are liking the uh, content and stuff that's happening right here in the story and stuff. Uh, I'm liking the way you guys are playing and the decisions you guys are making. It's making things interesting. Making me play on my toes. Um, but is I there anything? The most important part we got is a hand axe now. Yeah, yeah, you can go beat up trees <laughs> properly now. No more tree butchering. No. <laughs> All right. Uh, is there anything you guys need for me, or anything you guys? No, just... I think that's it for me. I need to get going. Cool. Bye. All right. <laughs> All right. I will see y'all later. Yeah. See you, dudes. All right. I'm gonna switch over to the other scene. All right, my dear friends. All right, I'm gonna close that all right i gotta fix some of those overlays but this is uh where obviously we're gonna end here maybe we can uh go see if we have any friends we can go send some love to hey bridge thank you so much for hanging out i hope uh 
we were hanging out and having fun. I loved hanging out with everyone. I love I love all the characters that we have going on. They they make me happy. Um, let's see. Croesus is playing some Subnautica. Sensation is playing some just chatting. Den is playing some Overwitch. Let's go see. Uh, she's got a new loading screen. I love it. Oh, she just started. Perfect. Yeah, let's go send some love to Sin. She's actually uh, an actual friend of mine. I know her from uh, the local dance scene. She's a she's a cool bean. She does some coding uh, stuff uh, right now. She looks like she's going to be playing some games. Um, let's go. Ooh, I, you don't do that. Hold on. Let's go give her some love. And uh, say hi to her. I appreciate you guys hanging out. Hope you guys did have fun. Um, I'm having a, a blast with this team here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. Hope you guys liked it. If you guys did, remember to like, subscribe, comment. Helps us out a lot. Let's me know what you're, what you're liking, what you're not liking. But more importantly, remember to spay new to your pets. Adopt, don't shop. Donate to rescue if you can afford it. Or open up your house up to the possibility of fostering. It is a very rewarding experience and helps those animals and rescues out that are very much in need. Hope to see you guys next week. Uh, we'll get sulfur up and healed and uh, hopefully off a death door here. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us. And uh, we'll catch you guys next time. See ya. Hi, you hungry? Yes, you hungry. <laughs>